One time I was like, who the hell's Bill? It's no, oh, me, here. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. No, no one calls me Bill. So I'm like, oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. oh wow. I mean, I just, I mean, I close Skype on my computer. Yeah. Yeah, they do that. There's a lot of feedback. It's like it's like, it's like the Twilight Zone. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. like the Firefly Funhouse. That was so stupid. That was amazing. That was amazing. I, uh, I, I like his, I like his You guys, guys still getting back then? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, oh, it's because, oh, I, it's because my headphones aren't, aren't linked to my phone. Oh, that's got to be spooky. Yeah, it was like it was like a jigsaw bike came with it, like a little <laughs> ring, 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 ring. Yeah. Uh, let, me, let me pull up what happened on Raw. The Firefly Funhouse is all you really need to talk about. That, that is true. Did, was, and, Bobby, was Bobby Roode on Raw? Uh, Robert Roode, actually. Robert. See, that wasn't on, that was on Hulu Skype Tuesdays. Yeah, Robert Roode uh, made his debut. He's going um, by Robert. Robert. Yeah, yeah, Robert just, Roode. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm holding on for the third time because I'm hearing this feedback. Yes, I know. I'm trying to I'm trying to unhook my headset from my laptop. Oh, yeah, that's why. Yeah, hook it to your phone. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> this, is this, this is hilarious. <laughs> this Patreon video is going to be ridiculous. By the way, you're, you're being recorded for our Patreon Slack. Right now? Yeah. Yeah, Slack, right. why aren't you a patron? It's a dollar. He's poor, apparently. This is, this is so hot. hot. You're in like, the last you're hot 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 basement. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, do some unpairing on that Bluetooth Slack. I'm, I'm doing, doing my best. <laughs> Wait, didn't you go to school for, like, audio and video? I went to school for broadcasting. broadcasting. Close. <laughs> audio and video. Not really. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, I can, I can hear you guys on my headset now. And I can hear myself. So as long as I can get it to the I, I can't do any track. I hear, I'm hearing my voice three times over. You, yeah, 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 yeah you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so fucked. All right, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go with some water because my allergies yeah. Yeah. Don't like it. You didn't take any allergies in that, did you? I don't take them anymore. You probably should. I literally woke up and, like, the other side of my block was flooded with pollen on the ground. Yeah, dude, my car was full of pollen. I should have noticed that. Yeah, it's yellow dust, Will. Yep. <laughs> Are you guys oh, still getting back? Yep. Yep. Alright, I'll be right back. I'll have to open pass when I drink the shit. God, that is just a lot of serious <laughs> so so uh, Uh, I have to just turn the phone. Did we try before and it was better with the earbud headset? I don't have those headsets anymore. Damn it. I might have an adapter, though, that I can plug it right into my phone. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta do that. Do you have headphones that aren't wireless? He said you might have an adapter. Uh, oh, Luke, okay, I'm so excited for the video to come back because I, I did some I did some quick edits for uh for GDP today, and for who to come back for for a video because on my on my new computer it rendered and exported in five minutes. Well, could you do? You could have done that for last week's episode too. I thought you were gonna get back to that. Well, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the the visuals to put for people visuals. Oh, you mean from the background and shit? Mm-hmm. I have a friend who can do it. Ask guys to send her all the stuff. So okay. what, I'm, what I'm thinking is our logo. And then we, when we talk about raw, like a reddish background with the raw logo and the three mm-hmm. windows. And then we talk about SmackDown Blue. Are you, Are you guys, guys still getting feedback? Yes. 
<laughs> feedback. 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 It's feedback. like a bottomless pit in there. You guys sound fine to me. I, I, I sound fine. We're, we're, we're in echo chamber, but we're not thinking of anything. <laughs> I'm a glass case of emotion. Oh, when they're off your head, I don't hear anything. Okay, is it sound, sound back? Now? Like, is there feedback still? Or can you even hear me now? No, I can, you. I can hear you. Zero feedback. Wow, look at that. Well, why do I feel like it could... You guys, you guys talk a second? Yeah. Okay. We, are, we are talking. The Yankees won again. They, you, you guys, guys sound actually... Like, I think it's just my, my headphones, headphones are loud. Wait, Wait, why, why is this... What is going on? I feel like you're going to get murdered in, like, two seconds, Slack. Like, I feel like it's all, like, a setup. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm, waiting for, I'm waiting for Duke, the scary movie, to come out. Anyone of those guys that doesn't, doesn't work. work. And it gets, gets me, me all riled up. up. Uh, you, you, don't sound, you sound, like, a little robotic. Uh, like, not echoing. I can hear myself, but, I, I can I hear can myself, hear myself first, first. It's and then I hear myself yeah. it's, it's echoey. How the hell is it echoey, though? Is it because maybe, maybe my audacity is recording from my headset? Is there a microphone on your headset? Yes. yes. That's There's probably why. Room. Yeah, that's why. It's recording on two microphones. Okay, um, hold on. Um, can, can the input for audacity be your headset? It uh, can be, but my... I'm trying to... Then do that. It wasn't working, though. It wasn't the audio. I can, I can see, see if I can, can find, find that old pair of headphones, because I know I it's somewhere in the house. Well, Slack, whoever gave you a degree, you should give it back. Give me two seconds. 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 Give me two Fucking idiot, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hurt yourself, Slack. <laughs> I'm so excited for this week's show. I was... I, I was I'm ex- well, because it's the first time you're doing it with him. Yeah, the, the past few hours I've been barbecuing and drinking, so I'm ready to go. <laughs> nice. Must be fun to be unemployed. I have an interview tomorrow. That's true. Yeah. By the way, how are we getting the hard... Are you driving the hard for Like, what do we do? I mean, you have a better car. I was At thinking about that, but I'm also that's graduation. I'm gonna be drink. I'm gonna be drinking all afternoon. But like, we have to get there at some point. Do you want to drive my car? I can drive your car with an Altima. Uh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I can do. That's easy. All right. Cool. If I this is all going, going on, on fucking Patreon. Yeah, I'll drive your car because I'm I'm trying to leave at like one. You're trying to leave at one o'clock? It's gonna be. It's like a two and a half hour drive to there, and you gotta like. Like, for traffic, and it's also traffic. Sunday. Shit. All right. Hey, am I robotic, robotic still? still? Yeah. Yeah. All right, that if we're going to leave at 1 o'clock, I'll probably drive then. Well, because we have to. Think about it. It's a, like, you ever drive the interstate on a Sunday? Yeah, it's the pretty worst sh- thing in the world. Yeah, it's pretty shitty. How far is Hartford? It's not two hours. Two hours and some change. I looked it up last night. Shit. It's not oh, a bad drive. I mean, if you're going to already be on the island, so, like, from the island, it's, like, two hours and change. Yeah. So, we got to go to cross Bronx, cross, uh, Throng's Neck. We got to get to 95 to 91. That's fucking trash. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a good ride-along. We can use my GoPro. Wait, what the fuck? Now we don't even see you, Slack. I don't see you, but you sound fantastic. Yeah, you sound great. <laughs> You guys are somewhere else on my laptop. What, what do you mean? Like, what are we? Are, are we? Like, like, I, I, I ended, ended the call on my phone, phone but, but I still heard you guys clear as about. Are we stuck? Yeah. Again. So you're, you're playing, playing somewhere, somewhere else in my house. house. I just don't know where. Are we stuck in Cybertron? <laughs> I don't know what's, what's happening. happening. I can. I, I, as soon as I ended the call, I still heard you guys, but I wasn't in the call anymore. This is a this is a nerdy like horror movie right now. Are we on your mom's iPhone? That's what it's. Someone's hooked up to my mom. Has a has flip phone. Hi, wow. Mrs. The Slack. Sorry, my dad has a flip phone too. My dad actually yeah, moved over. Guys to twice over, over, but I don't know where the feed is coming. Kind of... Someone's connected to you somewhere. It's, it's literally, literally just me. 
Are you sure? Yeah, why are the headphones are off? I'm going to turn my laptop off and try to turn, turn it back, back on. on. And, yeah. the, and the hash swinging slasher. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Let's let's just go back. To, let's go back to how we had it the first time. It was perfect. I loved it. <laughs> I wasn't in the call though, at all. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's that's perfect now. Hold, on, that's perfect. It was something on my laptop. Then you guys were somehow connected on my laptop. I really don't want to be that close to you, Slack. Was was Skype <laughs> open on your laptop? That's the thing. I don't think it was. So well, I'm gonna try connecting my old headphones to see if the echo and all that shit is still there. Because if it's not, then I can actually use my good ones. I know you sound perfect right now. Yeah, I don't want to fuck this it's, up. It's very, it's very easy. Audio. The only thing that's going, everything that should be open on your laptop is Audacity, and you s- just speak. That's it. Sound <laughs> okay? Yep. Yeah. And Skype okay. is the headphones, oh. so you can hear us. Uh oh. Uh, I think my laptop just did the thing that I did last time. What? It goes white, and I have no control over the screen. So I'm running. I run HDMI to my TV, and I have to beat the laptop going white so I can actually link it to my TV. Mm-hmm. Like watching pay per views and stuff without the network, and trying to get streams that work in time before my laptop craps out is a nightmare. I need a new laptop. Huh? Yeah, you need a new laptop, Slack. Yeah, I got this about three years ago, but there's like so much shit on here that like getting rid of it all would suck. It's a lot of porn, isn't it? Oh my god, so much. You can, uh, <laughs> you can, you can transfer anything from hard drive to hard drive. You can, there's a certain cord for that. Do I still sound okay, though? You yeah, sound, you sound fine. You sound fabulous. Okay, so as long as my laptop... As long as I can start it... Oh my god, as long as I can start it, it's fine, but it's not letting me start it now. What type of laptop do you have, Slack? Some Lenovo. Lenovo? I have Lenovo. Lenovo's aren't bad. They're these. They're pretty. I I wish I wish There's I wish I kept like some, some like the um, like the hardware chip or something. Like I can normally get into it perfectly fine, but like if I reboot it, it just like stops working. Yeah, you need a new one. Yeah. Anyway, while you guys are figuring that out, I'm gonna check up on my food that I'm cooking. Here. I wonder if I can just like do this. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna give my laptop a call and miss and just chill out and then maybe it'll log me it'll let me back in. <sighs> I should have checked all this before. I don't understand why you guys were playing through my laptop even though I didn't have Skype open anywhere on my laptop. Well you must have still had it open because that's the only way it could have happened. I manually I went to like task manager, so maybe it was still running in the background. I don't know. Oh, it's all right. We don't necessarily okay. need you on video. Start Windows normally. Normally that's a good sign. I'm just hoping <laughs> it lets me in. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, all I wasn't right. doing this before, so it actually might let me in, and we could probably get this going. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Uh, eh. Uh, come oh no, no, don't, don't do this. Oh, it was working. It was working. <laughs> Wait, uh, I still got you, buddy. Yeah, it's still. I don't know what it's doing anymore. I, uh, I can see my mouse on my screen on my TV. Go. <laughs> ah, technology did not fuck me today. And now I did my girlfriend, but that's besides the point. Hey yo! You hear that, Patreon? Slack is taken. Oh no, I, that's just a joke. Do I still sound okay? Yeah, you sound great. Okay, so I'm gonna open Audacity and see if it if it maybe it I, it shouldn't be the Audacity program, right? Uh, it shouldn't be. So Audacity doesn't record until you hit record, right? Exactly, but the input and output has to be right. The output is going to be the microphone on my laptop, I think. The input would be the microphone on your laptop. The output would probably still be whatever's on your laptop. doesn't matter. Well, though... So uh, I'm just going to talk with you and record it and see what happens. Like, Okay, so I can see all my levels and stuff. They're yep. pretty high, but they're there. That's fine. I can, uh, I, can, I can fix that. Yeah, and there's no... Like, I don't sound like shit. 
Okay, nope. I think we're good. I think we're All good. Right. Fine. Splendid. Whispered on Ricky and his goddamn chicken. I didn't. Is that is that racist? It's not fried chicken. It's baked. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I need to keep remembering that this is going on <laughs> of the Patreon. Come on, like it's only a dollar. The thing, I don't actually have a credit card. That's the thing. So, like, I couldn't donate. Do you have a debit card? Yeah, but I don't, I don't put it online. I just realized I haven't been on video this whole time. Mm. That's fair. You don't, want to put, you don't want to put your debit card online. People like that. I did like once, my, and my mom like made me replace my debit card when I was like fifteen. <laughs> how do you not have credit? <sighs> how, how do you I, buy things? Prepaid cards that I buy with my debit card. <laughs> but like, what if, what if I'm like, like rent an apartment or buy a house? You need a line of credit. Yeah, I'm gonna be getting a credit card and all that like soon. Like, I got, I got, I got a lot of shit done. Honestly, I don't even have my license. I can't drive. How old are you? 22. Christ. I was just like in, I was never in a position where like I needed to, and like I was never in a position where I could. If well, that makes sense. Well, are, you, are, you in a, are you actually in the city or are you in the burbs? It's like, uh, I'm not in Toronto. I'm about 40 minutes north of Toronto. All right, so you're in the like, burbs. Sort of. It's like, uh, I don't really know. You guys been to Toronto? No, I've never been to Canada. It's on my to-do list. You guys coming up for SummerSlam? I doubt it. Uh, and the plan was like to have like, this big meetup, and now it's just like, ah, I forget it. Well, we'll see what my finances are. Toronto's, Toronto's on the west side of Canada? Uh, well, the Toronto Maple Leafs are in the Eastern Conference, so I'd say east. No. It's sort of like right Stupid in the middle, thing. honestly. Is it that's like where? How? What, what state is it closest to? Oh Jesus Christ! I'm so bad with geography. Probably New York, honestly. Really? Let me just Google it. I have the internet. There's like four provinces to our left and four provinces to our right, including Quebec, which is just gross. So I hear. That's why I tweeted out. I said, as a Canadian, I can I can confidently say never trust somebody from Quebec. So Kofi Kingston and them trusting Kevin Owens was just retarded. Toronto. <coughs> oh, you're near Lake Ontario. Oh yeah, I know I know where you are. So that's where Toronto is. Yeah, we're in Ontario. Fuck me. <laughs> We're not even the we're the capital of Ontario, but we're not the capital of Canada. No, that's that's an eight hour drive. That's doable. Glad right, you guys figured it out. Oh yeah, we got it. But getting through customs driving through Canada is pretty annoying. That's true. That's why you don't drive through; you fly. Yeah, well, an eight, like, eight hour drive to Canada doesn't sound that bad. That's just snowing, but it's be <laughs> summer. I mean, the upstate New York scenery isn't too bad. No, it's yeah, actually it's actually very July. nice. But, like, the mountains are kind of scary because it's steep. What happened? All right, Ricky, am I still doing the Festival of Friendship music? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, cool. Flag, this is your coronation to a friendship between me and you. Okay. <laughs> Be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Was this 145? I believe so. Mm-hmm. I, well, I wrote 146, but it could be 145. It's 145. Motherfucker. <laughs> Let me double check. Is that length of the show? No, oh. number of episodes. Probably. Oh, wow. Wait, we've been going? Although Dave's not here anymore, so it's not as long. Yeah. When did the whole fuck you Slack thing start, Ricky? When you didn't remember our names. That was, uh, 180. That was, that was the episode. That was episode 82. Oh, it is 145. Son of a bitch. <laughs> See, 82, that was Dave talking to the mic. No, 82 wasn't Dave talking to the mic. 82 was pay attention slack. No, I'm looking at, that's uh, 81. 81, my fault. Yeah. No, I, I have the whole list right. I, I have a whole archive. I'm looking right at him. You're I'm gonna... Sure capacity, though. You're gonna get these hands, 88. <laughs> <laughs> a tail of two was- Rouseys. We had some good names in here. 
I oh, relaxed and it's still pretty solid. Welcome yeah. to the throne room. I don't remember that one. That was 69, though. That's appropriate. Uh, Money Put on Marks 2. Bizarro World? What the fuck was that one? <laughs> that was right. That was when they were in Toronto. That was right before Danny came down. 75. You know, I've actually never met Danny in person. I figured that. 76, Dave's buying me pants. Produced... Dave still hasn't, hasn't bought you pants. Nope. Produced by, published by David Malkovich. What was that? <laughs> what was that? What, I don't know what, what the was joke that was. For? No, because he, he said he didn't do something. And like a, a tweet or something. Or a Facebook post. It was a Facebook post in the group. And it was like published by David, David Malkovich. Malkovich. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> don't sing to me. Uh, oh. I think I think Dave started singing to me. Dave tried no. Dave tried to sing, and I was like, "Don't sing to me, Dave." Don't sing to me. <laughs> oh, Big Show LTV featuring Shay J McStyles. That's a goofiest title ever. We I forgot <laughs> what that was about. Shay Shay J McStyles was Shane McMahon versus AJ Styles. Yeah, best match on that WrestleMania card, by the way. Uh... That WrestleMania was shit. Dirty Dude was a great card. We are the Misfits. <laughs> was that when Dave finally became a Miz fan? Probably. Dial on Dave. I think that's when Dave left out, left that angry. No, was was it Dial on Dave? Forty one, maybe, because that was uh, that was in house wrestling. <laughs> no, there was one. It's like a point fiver where Dave uh, walks out on us. Legitimately? <laughs> no, forty five was on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, I, I will. 45, 45. <laughs> On a Sunday afternoon. God, it's like, that's Danny's favorite episode. So I'm curious, how did you guys come up with the idea to do the work with Will leaving the show? Oh. No, 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 no save that. That's a good question. For I actually do want to ask that on the show, so we're going to save that. Yeah, since, right. you, since you became part of the work, in and of yourself, Slack. Oh, oh my we... God. I was so heated. I was like, so... <laughs> I was... no, because I had literally been called a racist for not liking Bianca Belair like two months ago, so I felt like personally connected. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're going we're gonna to save it. All right. <clears throat> Are we all ready? I, I'm ready. Yeah. All right, Someone I'm hit record. Yep, I'm recording. Record. All right. Okay. So on a count of three, we're going to clap. Three, two, one. All oh, right, let me play this goddamn festival. Oh, yeah. It's a long one. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's so good, though. Love. So good. Yes. No, my was okay. No, no, my was who the hell is Ricky talking to? Oh. Can you do that? I can't at the moment. Huh? So I can't at the moment. Oh, what would that mean? Probably not today. Probably not today. All right. All right. Not a problem. Who the hell was that? Yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Yes. You are hearing that music once again because this <laughs> is the KOTR Festival of Friendship the again. Festival of friendship. This the official is the, this Festival of Friendship. This is the Kings of the Rings podcast, episode number 145, a moment I've been waiting for for a very, very long time. We're going to go on a yacht next time. Because the last time I was on a yacht before I got fired. But that's neither here nor there. This, of course, it's me. It's me. It's with me. T. 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 Thomas. A. R. A. S. H. U. K. This is the King's Links Podcast. K. O. T. R. S. Podcast. Anyone who has a podcast can be found on Vessel Addict Radio. Let's go to your Google machine. Type in Vessel Addict Radio on Spotify, Stitcher, iTunes, Google Podcasts, or SoundCloud. Bobby. Type in Kings of the Rings Podcast and get us there exclusively. And where would I be? So my number two. Always and forever. Rick, what's up? Uh, I'm really happy with the chicken, the way it came out, as I just finished making it before the show. Um, what's going on, everybody? It's King Ricky Rose of the Kings of the Rings podcast, your general manager of Wrestle Addict Radio. Check out Addict Wrestle on Twitter and your social media ambassador for Kings of the Rings podcast, KOT underscore podcast on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram. And I'm proud to say, Will, that before this show, we actually broke the 1,800 followers. Again? Um, well, no, no, we broke it officially now. 
Nope, I swear to God, I still stick to my guns. I saw it broken before. No, no, <laughs> we're, we were at 1800 officially. Hey, I, I, had, I, had four, I had five, seven people follow me at, at Will Tarashek on Instagram. Those five people are now gone. Well, it's because you don't tweet. It's Instagram, Mickey. Uh, but still, but still, it's because you don't do anything on Instagram. That's true. too much. Anywho, <laughs> it's a very special show tonight because tonight we bury the hatchet, and tonight I extend my arm in friendship to someone that believes that I hate his guts, and honestly, not so much anymore. We're because, creating a new hatchet. Yes, because I found somebody. <laughs> That I dislike on Twitter more than Slack. So Slack, oh. if, you, if you will accept my hand in friendship, the microphone is yours. Now, is this going to be like a Kevin Owens deal where no, like no, 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 I'm not. We haven't week? decided yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, last thing I need it's is very, just like to be very betrayed again. It's a very good point. <laughs> no, I, 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 I. I uh, mm. Sure, why think not? About, think about this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking, I'm just, I just keep going back and like, I'm like, well, Kevin Owens screwed over Sami Zayn and Chris Jericho, who was also, both of them Canadians, so I'm just kind of like, ah, yeah, sure, well, no, let's, go, let's go for it, you only live once. Well, maybe you are the turn heel on Ricky this time. Maybe, well, you never know, you never know. So Slack, welcome back to the show, my Thank newfound you. friend. Okay, nice. let's not go too hard now. <laughs> Well, I mean, since since you've been on the show last, I mean, I, I've noticed on your Instagram you finally got out of the basement, which is great. So positive things are happening. So I mean, I, I, in my basement right now, but yeah. As you, I mean, hey, you, you got to return sometimes. Um, but here's here's my question for you, Slack. Where the heart is. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Will. <Bill. laughs> <laughs> so I, I, your your Instagram did come up on my news feed. So my question is, who's the girl, Slack? Oh Christ! I knew this was coming up eventually. Um, I study oh, our guest. I'm sorry. Who's the girl slack? <laughs> she is a girl that I used to work with at one of my old jobs um, at uh, Pickle Barrel. I don't know if you guys have that in the states. No, we have Cracker Barrel. It's it's more much more much much. It's more basically tasty. like it's basically like the Olive Garden minus the breadsticks. Oh, that fucking uh, place sucks then. Yeah, What's I Olive did. Garden I without breadsticks. Fine, she was the only good part Olives. about the job. Um, so yeah, her and I just kind of like reconnected after I quit. Um, and we're just taking things slow. We don't really know what's going on yet. There's a lot more, but we only have a certain amount of time. Did she touch your peepee? <laughs> <laughs> no, Will. Ah, you're missing out there, bud. Oh, <laughs> oh. Come on. All right. Like, I am, if, I am, had, if we had more time, I could explain, but we really don't. Oh, oh, we have, we we have, have all time the time in the world. This is your show tonight. We got, we got eight minutes hey. for the break. <laughs> <laughs> the, the short version is basically both of us need to sort out things in our personal lives outside of relationships. Package? Like, I need to get like my career in order, and she I needs to get feeling. her personal things in order that I'd rather not say. Oh, that's fine. Don't, don't air out her dirty laundry, she, obviously. Don't air out her panties. <laughs> She's basically going through the same thing that Dave's going through. I'll put it like that. Oh. Well, I, 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 hope, I hope she listens. Yeah. She doesn't even know what wrestling is. Well, that, that's fine. But, like, her thing that, the thing that she's going through that's comparable to Dave, I hope she listens to a positive influence like yourself. It's part of the reason why we're hanging out as much as we are because like she has said that like i'm one of the reasons why she's doing her best with this stuff good oh, so yeah so that, that, uh, you that's... know what you know what ricky slack was right i want to i want to turn to slack therapy um <laughs> this, this 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 is indeed a wrestling show but before we get into wrestling um i was like i want to know your opinions and your thoughts on the glorious work that has put some, that has helped, helped us drop some dead weight, if you will. Well, yeah, that's, uh, that we, we lost a crucial follower from it. Actually. Yeah, fucker. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what do you, what are your thoughts, Slack, on the, uh, I, we never even named the storyline. I guess we're going to name it like the top tier talent. Yeah, it was, it was, it was yeah. a top tier work. The top tier, there you go. Well, what are your thoughts on the top tier work? Honestly, I went back and forth with a couple of, our mutuals on this, including really? Danny. 
Yeah, Danny and Christine. Danny and I talked about this. Uh, Christina and I talked about this, and Nikki and I briefly talked about it. Um, I was I was skeptical for a good amount of time until like the episode that was just Ricky and Dave came out, and Ricky went on like his ten minute tangent. And I was like, "Hey, that was a beautiful this? promo, by the way." I'm, yeah, <laughs> credit for that, honestly. So I'm sitting there listening to it, and I'm, I'm just boiling. I'm like, "Yo, this is fucked." Like, fuck. yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. But, yes. Like, I'm the heel. Because, yes. <laughs> because the thing was, was that the only person who knew it was a work from the beginning, I think. On who I talked to was Christina. She didn't buy. She didn't buy it at all. Yeah, you can't please a, everybody. She, she she's a tough cookie to crack, and then she cracked. But yeah. Danny and I were like, "Yo, fuck Ricky, man! Like he's a dick." <laughs> oh, I'm I'm a bad. Well, I was playing here. What the fuck do you expect? Well, no, because like I legitimately, I I was sitting there. I'm like, I feel like like I tweeted yesterday that I don't believe Charlotte Flair plays a character on TV. I truly believe she thinks that she deserves the world. Okay. And at the same time, I'm like, I feel like Ricky might be this way outside of the podcast, where he's just like, yes, like, the world revolves around me. Clearly, I might be wrong. Clearly, you are wrong, Slack. Yeah, no, take it, I, take it, take it from me, that's, that's pretty nice. That's why, that's why in my promo, I said specifically online, 100% factual. <laughs> Off, <laughs> offline, it's about 50-50. <laughs> the reason why i got so i got so involved because like i you know we kind of had a bit of a spat on twitter about it you know you and i ricky uh, yeah because uh, it was it was between me and will and which was fine because it was part of the work and then you jumped in and i was like fuck now i gotta do something well no it was because if it had nothing to do with race i wouldn't have gotten involved i would have just been like okay whatever like if it was for I, I don't know, like, if you guys thought of another way to do it. But the reason why was because back in, I think it was, what what takeover was, it was the January takeover that it was Baszler versus Bel Air, right? Yeah, well, yes, that's, that's when Sam Roberts got all the heat, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Sam, call me back. <laughs> yeah, so what happened was that they, uh, that Candice LeRae tweeted out a picture of her, Io Shirai, and Kairi Sane. Uh-huh. And I retweeted the picture saying, here we have a picture of three women more deserving of a title shot before Bianca Belair. Because I was high on Bianca Belair, like, during the first May Young Classic. And then I was just kind of like, eh, like, she's okay. Like, she's not, she's not anything special, personally. Okay. Right? So I literally just said, here are three women more deserving of a shot than Bianca Belair. And some people were like, you know, Candace has been dead since she came in. Uh, Kyrie they, haven't, Pat- they haven't really run with Candace at all. Yet. I think they're going to start doing it now, though, now that Johnny's champion. Um, and then people were like, oh, you know, Kyrie's already had her shot and EO's too fresh. Mm. And you know, that, that, that was fair. But then like, there were some people literally, one dude literally retweeted and said, well, if it ain't white, it's not right for this fuck. And I was like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, like, dude, seriously? He tweeted then, to like, Asians. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And my handle is based on Shinsuke Nakamura as well. Yeah, like that. Um, wow. And then, like another one, just like replied. She's like, "Just say you're racist and move on with it, and go back to your Confederate flag room or some shit." And I was like, <laughs> "People told me to get a job. Like, what? Like, none of it made sense." Yeah, me too, Slack. I hear you. <laughs> I so tell one to get. A, I tell one to get a job every week. <laughs> yeah. So now that when so then when Will was getting it for just speaking his opinion, I was like, that's fucked. Like, I was just there. So that's why I got involved and suckered you, in. You, you, felt, you felt an emotional connection. If anybody remembers, I didn't actually call Will Race. I said what he said could be construed as a racist remark. And then we went into it, and then Will thought he Will thought I had called him racist. It was a, it was a really interesting thing that happened because it organically turned into a real fight. And then we were just like, and, and then what happened was, Will couldn't do the show the next week. So uh, Will was like, like we had reconciled everything like a couple days later once Will called off. And oh wait, and so Will, so on the episode where you said what he was saying could be misconstrued, that was that was legitimate. But everything after that was the work. Exactly. Yeah, no, th- that extra oh, argument because Ricky, Ricky. That was a Ricky, real deal. R- Ricky didn't call me racist. Dave did. Um, <laughs> Dave but did. apparently, apparently, I got I'm I'm the racist dickhead. Well, because I because I took over him and I just bashed you. That's why. Yeah, because Ricky, yeah. Ricky, Ricky just you know played logic in 
<laughs> I, I, was, I, was, I was legitimately pissed. I got, when I ended the show, like, not early, but I ended the show, I was like, fuck it, no, we're done. That was yeah. real anger. I got the Skype call. I was like, fuck this, I'm done. You were so bad. I was very angry. But then, I, you yes. know, I, I, I got over it. Because I was like, I was like, listen, like, when we angry, argue about wrestling, that's amazing. Like, it, yeah. it, just, it, it, it just kind of yeah. crossed a few lines. But then the next week, I was entertaining a friend, and I, just, I was out to eat or whatever. And I was like, guys, I can't be on the show this week. Pretend I'm still mad from what happened last week. So that's when I did oh. the cold. That's when I did the cold opening of like Will's not on the show. We're gonna move on without him. Yada yada yada. And then the and following th- week, he we even had Twitter. Spam, and then I, the following week, he cut the promo. And then I got the promo. What's what? Probably Danny is pissed at me about is that right before that promo I cut, I was talking to her about everything that had transpired, and she's like, "Well." I hope will I hope you guys come around and everything. I was like, yeah, I hope so too. I was like, I think Will will be back, you know, yada yada. But all of a sudden, I cut the promo two days later, and I was like, she's probably fucking pissed. At me. <laughs> <laughs> I think the other thing that Danny got upset about was that she, that you said that you were behind the Valkyrie and like that. I remember her being like, fuck that. Like, no, I was friends with Nikki and Christina and all of them. Oh, 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 they, oh actually, actually, no, I, no, 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 no. Time the fuck out. If you go back into <laughs> I have receipts of this shit, and it's actually in one of her memories on her own Twitter. I, before, I before you continue, before you continue, just because I like Danny, I don't want her pissed off at me. I might be not remembering that incorrectly. Okay, just 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 putting okay. that out there because she, she might not have said that because I like Danny too much for her to be pissed off at me because Nikki's already pissed off at me because of hockey. Nikki's so. pissed off at a lot of shit. Um, she still doesn't text me. Please <laughs> can choke again, like because they always do. She's gonna be pissed off for a couple of days. Whatever. She was an Islander fan two years ago. Um, yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Guess you just lost a follower. Yeah, do, do with that what you will. <laughs> um, but no, here, here's what happened. I, all right, number one, I introduced Danielle to Nikki quite Damn. literally in person. Ah. <laughs> okay. That did um, happen. That did happen. Okay. I Again, no... I, didn't, I might be misremembering, so just Danny, don't kill me if you're listening to it's this. It's okay, it's okay. She can, we can, I can argue this banter, but she knows what the truth is, and so do I. Nikki, Danny met in person. Uh, Christina and Danny also met in person one weekend in Brooklyn. Um, they were supposed, to, and during that same weekend, as fate would have it, Danny ended up interacting with somebody whose birthday was that weekend, and they were trying to meet up. That person also happened to be Kate Murphy. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, love of my life, Kate Murphy. <laughs> Don't tell Nikki. Um, so, so what ended up happening is they all ended up one listen. They all ended up listening to our show, and they ended up kind of interacting with each other. And I started noticing it, and I wanted to get them all on the show, which eventually I did. Um, oh. You know, and they then at the same I, time or separately? separately. Uh, separately. It was Danny okay. first. It was Danny first. Then Danny had the bail last minute one time, and then Christina came on, and then we. I had the big Nikki because she's like, I don't know about podcasts. I don't know how I'll sound. And then she did it once, and she fucking loved it. Um, so you had the what? Huh? What did you say? You had the what, Nikki? I had like big Nikki. I was like, Nikki, come on the show, you'll love it. Well, I thought like, you I said you know. had to bake Nikki. I was like, you had to bake her. What the fuck are you talking no, about? No, no, Nikki does all the baking. <laughs> yeah, she does. It's terrific. Yeah. She's a house mom in the making. Anxiety. Love of my life. Anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we got Kate on the show um, later on down the line. But in between that, um, I had, I had, it was around when Ragnarok came out for Thor. And I, I had oh, the intention... Oh. I had the intentions of naming them something because they just kept interacting with us and themselves a lot. I was like, you guys should be like a Twitter faction. And so once I finished watching Ragnarok, I was like, I got it. They'll be named the Valkyrie. And then I made a tweet saying, introducing the Valkyrie and tagging all of them. That's how the Valkyrie came to be. Yeah, and now it's dead. RIP the Valkyrie. Now we're dead. Oh, well, there's like 100 episodes and counting. Yeah, it's dead. Uh, we'll, we'll put it this way. One of the members of the Valkyrie unfollowed us. Oh. <laughs> Why do I feel like I know who it is? Uh, we, we, all, we all know who it is. It's, it's Christina. It's, it's fine. Yeah. I'm over. Okay, I, it I, is. Okay. That's yeah. <laughs> That's right, she's, not, she's, she's a little mad. I was privately messaging her during the whole... Like, the whole thing between, like, the work and everything. It was only three and weeks. It said, was only three weeks. And she literally said, if I'm remembering correctly, because I have a really poor memory, if I could actually pull up my Twitter, 
she basically said if this ends up being like a work fake, she'll unfollow all of us, yeah. Fucking done. And she and damn, girl stuck to her hey, word. Man, woman of a word. Woman gotta of a word. Res- gotta respect it. <clears throat> thanks for but, the, thanks for following me personally. Said, but, yeah, me too. Dan but I, work work yourself into a shoot, unfortunately. So Ricky, I didn't actually tell you this yet. I, yeah. I was <clears throat> I was home this weekend, um, and I was out with my brother and his friends. My brother goes, okay, so I have a question for you. That whole thing on Twitter, that wasn't real. He's like, I was like, I was like, no, I was like, bro, bro. I'm like, that's completely fake. He's like, that was for wrestling, right? He's like, I'm like, yeah, he's like, that's brilliant. I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> someone I mean, who someone who doesn't watch wrestling, doesn't care for wrestling, he's like, it makes perfect sense because it's wrestling. Yeah. And I was like, yes, TT, that's the entire point. Yeah, we 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 were experimenting with something. We had this opportunity that kind of fell right into our hands. And to be honest with you, when I did the show, when Will unfortunately couldn't make it as he was entertaining somebody, after the show, I was like, I have an idea, and I presented it to Will. And Will was like, if we're going to do this, we got to go balls to walls with it. And we were like, okay. So then we just kind of did it. Like, it was an opportunity. Will we do it again? Who the fuck knows? Do I regret it? No one's going to believe you at this point. I, that's that's very, very yeah, true. true. You know, like, but if it, you were just like... Because I feel because your whole thing with Dave, like making sure that people knew that it was real, was important. Because like no, no, bad, no like, it was just bad timing that we had. To yeah, do. that that, no, that is. Like, oh, bad by timing. the way, Dave's not here, and I'm like, oh, and Wills goes, oh, but it, this is real. real. Like, like, oh, it, this is it's real. it's real. So like the funny thing is, Ricky sent me his promo that <laughs> that that Monday yeah. night before we aired it on Wednesday, and I was like, this is amazing. I'm airing he it. Took, <laughs> Perfect. He took, I'm pretty sure he took a jab at me, like. Oh, that was I? so like, well, yeah, because I remember something about because you because you made a list on Twitter. You were like, oh, I created this, they like the Valkyrie, this, 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 tip of the crown, blah blah blah. blah which I we're thought Mr. Fred's no, made. It, tip, of the the tip of the crown is coming back. Mr. Fred's Mr. Fred's named it. Okay, Will well, actually came up with it. Like, okay. My idea, I did. I said Ricky should do it because you know. And then you put and then you Twitter. put Slack, and that was the that was the other reason I got involved. Oh, like, that's well, that's when you got mad because I said I'm I, like, I said so I made you. Me. Me. <laughs> right. So then, at some point, I basically said, like, how can the person who created me have like half the amount of followers that I do? That just doesn't seem right. And then during I, mean, the I, problem, I run two Twitter, so I have more followers at this point. Probably. Oh, shut up! <laughs> yeah, but that's just a cop out bitch move. It's, um, it's no one else is using the Twitter. The promo, you were like, "Oh yeah, you know, like some people like to flex the amount of followers they have," and I'm like, "Is that is that at me or is that like a generalization?" Uh, half but and half. It was just like that you, might be a tab you. Know what, you you like, brought oh. it. You brought it up, but it's also one of those things that is a pet peeve of mine. Like what? people. Like a lot of people do it for sure. I only did it because like I thought it made sense because then we, Understandable. Like, yeah, Slack get him or some shit. And I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> well you did tweet that, yeah, Slack get him. It's like, yeah, Slack, fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The fact that we've spent almost twenty five minutes just talking about how this work came to be. Well, you is... know what? We we had to break it down with somebody who actually got legitimately worked and could actually yeah. And you've actually calmed down from it. Because, like, originally I was like, I'm like, there's no way. Like, because like, even, like, one of my friends heard it because he, he, he doesn't, like, listen to the show. But, like, I asked him what he thought. And he goes, that's probably not real. And then, like, when all the tweets started coming out, I was like, maybe this is real. Because, like, if they had just kept, if you guys had just kept it, like, um, condensed to just the show. Yeah. I would have been like, no, this is this is for whatever. But then when it started becoming more public, and I'm like, yo, people that don't watch this, that don't listen to the show, are seeing this. Like, this is fucked. Yeah, it's we 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 had an we had an opportunity, and we we shifted reality. I think Danny in her last conversation with me, because I still think she's really rather pissed, um, broke it down. Is that we we went from being just an analytical um, based podcast where we just talked about stuff into yeah. more of a more of a kind of a, a showy gimmicky thing where where you didn't know what was real or not but also that's what wrestling is in an instance we were just practicing a wrestling angle well the other yeah. reason why i wasn't sure at first was because i'm like it's just so convenient that this is around wrestlemania season <laughs> that, that was also <laughs> part of it to be honest like, dude yeah. it's wrestlemania season let's fucking tell some I was stories like, Yo, you guys yeah. did something major last year with the whole elias thing so i was like maybe they're trying to top themselves that wasn't even a thought in our mind 
God I'm, damn it. Funny is because you were mentioning like having like the Valkyrie and all them on the show. This is sort of like going off course. But I remember when you guys started the uh, Friends of the Podcast uh, era. Yeah, Friends with Show. Like, and you had the first uh, first guest question game or whatever. And the last question was always, are you team fuck you Slack or team Slack? <laughs> That's Will's idea. Team Slack or team fuck you Slack. And what's funny is I remember, I don't remember everybody's response, but for some reason, Kate's sticks out in my mind. Click, click clack, clack, fuck, fuck slack. slack. What? <laughs> what is that click, clack thing, by the way? I don't know. She it, just came up with it. She just said you, it. You'd have to ask her, but guys, well, Slack, thank you for being on here again, and thank you for making yeah. that work so much better. And thank you for not unfollowing us, Slack. Uh, yes, yes, Slack. Thank, oh, you for, thank, you for, thank you for being a team player. Thank and you for just getting it and getting still being our friend. And rolling with the punches, because it's wrestling, Slack, guys. One last point on that, one last point on that was because yeah. I went to your, I went to your, um, to your, uh, the, the King's podcast page. Yeah. I was curious about something. I'm like, I'm like, okay, Ricky's being a real petty bitch. So if he if he has control of the Twitter page, which you do, he would have removed Will for sure, and Will was still on there as like as one of the hosts. So I was like, mm. oh, I told oh, him to take oh, it I off. Oh, I forgot. You know what it was? I changed the logo. I changed like, the logo. I forgot to change the description. Yeah, because I saw it. I'm like, there's no way that he would change the description, like change the show logo and all this, and say it's the new Kings, but still leave Will in there. There's just I no was- way. I still say that logo is the best part of it. That logo was the best yeah. part of it. You put it on a group outside. This is People fucking amazing. <laughs> it's my favorite part. <laughs> it's the best uh, part. But okay. guys, when, when we get back from the break, we will talk wrestling. We'll talk everything from Andrade switching sides to Sh- Becky defending it twice to the Kevin Owens heel turn. We'll be right back. It's the King's Wings podcast. Do not go anywhere. Last week I told him to go everywhere. That's my yeah, right. Last week I was like, "Don't come back." Do we actually take a, like a two minute break, or is this? Just yeah, we're literally, just, we're literally just chilling right now. We're not going. Uh, we'll edit this out. Yeah, it's just it's just a we we do ads for the network. It's just like a thirty second ad. Okay. Because I what I was gonna say about Kate's response was that she was team fuck you slack, and her reasoning was because whenever quote she and the Valkyrie are fucking shit up on Twitter, I always got involved, and she just like hated that. <laughs> and that was like funny as hell to me. I'm like, yeah, she's she's right. I too. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even denying it. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't. I can't deny it. Oh man, but Slack, thank you again for for getting it and not being too pissed at us, even though we worked the fuck out of you. You're the one who made it work, actually. To be honest. Yeah, I, I created that. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I can't believe Christina actually unfollowed though. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, she she literally because you know how I, I'll tag all of our m- more prominent people like every Friday. Yeah. Literally tweeted me back personally. I was like, please don't tag me in this ever again. Whoa! Oh my god. It's like wow. It's really funny. So what happened was, so we had the we had WrestleMania week, and we had the um we had the rant with Dan Gala on Twitch TV and all of that shit, where I still played heel, um, and, oh. As and so. Did. As I do. I mean, I, I'm a good heel, apparently. I have a good heel promo, at least. Um, so what happened was, Dave and I went to an AIW show, like, 15 minutes down the road in Jersey. Like, a midnight show. My friend Paul um, was the AIW champion at the time. And Christina and Nikki were there. Oh. So so Dave and I were in. We're kind of, we're kind of all dressed up because we just came from a gala. And so we kind of yell at Nick's, like, Nikki, Christina, and, Christi- and Christina's husband, um, Will. Who's an awesome guy, by the way. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. The guy named Weapon X. Oh. It's her husband. Oh, okay. Um, so Nikki sees us. She's like, oh, my God. Hi, how are you? Waves at us. Christina's husband, Will, sees us. He's like, oh, shit, it's them. Hey, how are you guys doing? Like, just enjoys us. He turns to tell Christina. She's not having it. She's not having it at all. Oh, not my God. Is all. this before or after? This was after. This is after we revealed it was a work and that we were just fucking around. Oh, and wow, so she goes on to a grudge. Yeah, and so, and so she reluctantly turned around and gave us, like, a fake-ass wave and a high. Oh, hi. Like, one of those kind of things? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> kind of. And Dave and I looked at each other, and she was like, we were like, yeah, she's fucking pissed. Has she, like, ever told you guys, like, directly why she's so pissed off, or, or no, is she kind of, like, done just doing it? I would, I would appreciate... Maybe you can be a messenger. I would appreciate why she got so upset. Like, Mr. Fretz... 
explain to us in a Patreon chat in very colorful language why he was so upset. You know, you explained why you were upset. Danny explained to me why she was upset. Christina, the person who still who unfollows us, has never explained why she got upset. I think maybe her re- – because she's, cause she's gotten, like, legitimately pissed off at me before, too, about, like, certain mm-hmm. things. I don't remember what it was. It was, like – it has something to do with Charlotte, um, weird, oddly enough. It was something that I said about Charlotte, and she goes, you're a fucking asshole for saying that. And I was like, what the shit? Like, it's a joke. <laughs> but I think maybe, like, her reasoning for being so pissed off is because you guys took – like, son, that was, like, legitimately an issue. Like, because a lot of people do think that there is an issue in WWE with making African-American top-tier talent. And you took a legitimate issue and turned it into a way to, like, profit from that. Not profit, and then, but, and like... And then the African-American like, became the heel, which is hysterical. That. Yeah, so I think <laughs> maybe she got upset that you took an actual WWE issue and, like, worked it around to, like, benefit you guys. Okay, but at the end of the I, day, it's, like, it's not that serious. But also, here's the thing, like, if you rem- if you timeline when we when we had that argument, mm. the Kofi storyline hadn't even begun. Hadn't it? No. The Kofi- not not, not it, as much was as... Was it the game. show right after Elimination Chamber that yeah, you guys did it? it was. Okay, so... No, it okay, went yeah. the preview. No, no, the preview, no, it, oh, was, it was wasn't the preview. Because you it was guys after were talking about why you didn't think Kofi would ever be champion. It was the review. Or something like that, yeah. yeah. So it what happened the following week, I think. Yeah, exactly. So we just we just had an argument, and then the Kofi thing blew up, and then yeah. I was like, oh, shit. We, it was kind of like art imitating. Like, it just it just was coincidental that it happened that way. It, we, wouldn't, we didn't see, like, oh, here's what they're doing with Kofi. Let's play off of it. Like, that wasn't our intent at all. That's how she took it. Yeah, but it like I mean it, it honestly well like it just happened that way. Like WWE said, let's run with this Kofi thing. And the thing with WWE too is that even in their storyline, they yeah. never mentioned anything about racism or anything whatsoever. Yeah. Because well, they didn't have to. Yeah. They did that before with Booker T and the whole someone like you and never be champion. I was like, that's oh really yeah, crazy. that's fucked up. Yeah. But um, but the first Vince finish called in the end history. Like the worst finish in WrestleMania history, a 22 second delay between the pedigree and the pin. Like, come on. Yeah, no, it it was it was a real a real dick move what they did the Booker T. But also, like, it was one of the, the Kofi thing was so organic and so real that you didn't have to mention it was it was beyond racism. It was kind of like an inclusive storyline for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, the fact that well, he was black kind of made it bigger. Before we come back, I'm just going to grab my phone charger because I forgot to charge my phone before this, so I don't want like, the call to die out while we're doing uh, it. Knock yourself out. Sec. Well, I still find it funny, but me, the black guy, was the heel on the racist storyline. Oh, I love it. That's, it's, 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 like, when you break this down, it's really fucking funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's me. That's what my brother says. He says it's hilarious. <laughs> You should have given Sam Roberts our, like, three weeks of shows where we promoted out. I told him, the day of the interview was the day I came back. Okay. So I told him everything. I was like, this is what we did. <laughs> I, I, I still haven't gotten a call back from them. <laughs> I heard. I'm going to set up for this. I'm fucking tired. Mad because I did. Because things are created about me. I fucking did. <laughs> <laughs> point A, point B, and C. <laughs> yeah. Your honor case dismissed. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> I can't believe she got mad at me. It's like she really thinks I'm a dick. Like she knows me more so than any of you guys. I should text yeah. Nikki, but he's still mad at me. <laughs> you know what it is? You know what it is? Because I've never... I've never pulled the wool over her eyes. Mm-hmm. Like, I've never had to hide anything from her. Right. And this time, I I did it on purpose. Right. And so, that's, that, that's a girl anger thing. Is this Danny? Yeah. What's up? No, that's Nikki. No, I'm talking about Danny. You're talking about Nikki. Oh, I'm talking about Nikki. Yeah. All right, let's bring it back. Let's talk wrestling finally. 
Let's talk some wrestling. Wrestling. Yeah, wrestling. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Kevin Slack. I think my internet st- my hold on. It says I'm still connected. Is your Audacity recording? That's all that matters. Yeah, Audacity is still recording, but if all I right. can, yeah. Okay, there we go. We're fine. All right, cool. All right, guys. Monday Night Raw was. It happens. It happens. It, happens. It's some- it was something. Uh, Seth kicked off the show in Iowa, and of course, all six guys had to come out after Corey Graves told us the six guys that are going to be involved. So they're open. it just wasted 15 minutes of television saying, that I'm going to win. Though. No, I'm going to win. Guess what? I'm going to win. It's so like, weird was that they announced it like to the audience. They were like, oh, we're going to have these two triple threat matches. Yeah. And then Triple H announced it as if like nobody knew. And everyone's like, but we know already. We just yeah. saw the graphic. Yeah. It's like, great. So this, this, is for the, this is for the crowd. Fantastic. So, yeah, but that's, that's that was poor. Uh, that the, was the, the the it was poor, but the the IC t- the, the IC the triple threat matches were good. Yeah, they were uh, great. The second one was much better. Yeah, I really think so. Although the finish with AJ Styles and a Styles Clash on Samoa Joe was just so indie. I loved every second of it. I mean, they've done them how many times together? Lots. Like, exactly. So if anybody's going to take a Styles Clash, it's going to be Samoa Joe. No, AJ. Ray took it on Samoa Joe. My Ray, by far. Yeah. yeah, he's done that before though with the Sing Brothers too. Like he did a Styles Clash off the second rope onto another Sing Brother when he was <laughs> doing gender. That that that, sh- that should be that should be illegal. The Sing Brothers <laughs> deserve a raise every time they take a bump. They need yeah, honestly two thousand more dollars a year. They're like the Indian Dolph Zigglers. It's amazing. The Indian Dolph Zigglers. Wow, because oh, they sell it so perfectly. Too. Yeah, he's he's every- right. That's that's pretty accurate. Dolph Ziggler is the most is the best overseller ever, and the the Singh brothers like those backdrops on the announcers table that he they used to take from Randy Orton were crazy. Yeah, dude, have you seen his have you seen his comedy? Oversells it way too much. <laughs> <laughs> and then even Randy's like, oh shit, like did I just actually hurt that guy? So AJ AJ won. Um, the second one, I was very surprised that Corbin won, although. The guy is really good at getting heat. That match was all for for Drew McIntyre. Yeah. Get the Claymore yeah. kick. One, two, three. Corbin steals it. What? What? I want. I want to know what changed backstage because Baron Corbin went from "Get the fuck out of my face" to yeah. "Dude, you have way too much TV time." Oh, and by the way, you're retiring Kurt Angle. Yeah, that, I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I think I, it's maybe because they were thinking, like, it'll... Because Seth is such a monster baby face, right? Because of everything with Brock and the Shield and all that, right? So WWE's thinking is, okay, how do we keep our actual top heel in Drew McIntyre strong, but also get AJ even more over as a baby face? I know. Let's have him take take down someone who actually gets legitimate heat in Baron Corbin. Because Baron Corbin gets heat for being a dick. Drew McIntyre gets heat for just being a fucking monster. Baron Corbin also gets heat for being a shit dresser. Yeah, he just like, he's just like, hi, welcome to Chili's. Um, but, like, I think that's what the, the reason why they had Corbin win and then ha- lose to AJ is because they need to get AJ on the same level of babyface as Seth. I would argue that they are on the same level of babyface as Seth. I... Uh, it's just because maybe because I think they maybe under like operate under the idea that the same people that watch Raw don't also watch SmackDown, sort of like how people that watch Raw and SmackDown don't watch NXT. Mm. True. So I the think thing it, is, like, it, where it's it, like, where are the chances that the people that are here cheering for Seth aren't also at SmackDown the next night cheering for AJ? Yeah. yeah. I'd I'd say it depends who you ask, but I kind of agree with Slack that they're trying to get them on the same level. Um, because there's a majority chance that <laughs> Seth. Is I'd say about a ninety percent chance that Seth retains, and yeah, in in a match like this, it it hurts Drew to lose more than it hurts AJ. But Drew and, could be Drew could be destined to win that to win that briefcase. He could I be destined, he he could be destined to win it. a briefcase, and he could be destined to have that SummerSlam spot because Drew is he's a top guy on Raw. He isn't mm-hmm. booked like a top guy, but you flip a switch, he's a top guy immediately. Which I thought they were I, for like three weeks. Yeah, and I, I really thought for a while they were gonna save Seth and AJ for SummerSlam. Like that's just that's a build for a SummerSlam match. It is. But, but they are they're doing it early, which means there's something bigger involved for Slam. Well didn't they do this the last time AJ went after the top the top Roman. guy? Roman. AJ Roman, because, yeah. 
Because AJ literally lost his match at Mania to Jericho, and then the next night won a fatal four way to be the number one contender, and he fought Roman at Extreme Rules, Extreme Rules. and yep. uh, and another pay per view, and then went on to his feud with John Cena, which oh, was amazing. Oh, but who's best feud ever? But like if AJ say AJ doesn't win because he's let's be honest, he's not taking the title off set this early. Who, where does AJ go from here if he doesn't win? The secondary champion, like him versus Joe again, would just be unlike, just like, eh. I think Joe, I think AJ teeters in, in that, in the upper card for whatever reason. I mean, we don't know, we don't, in the, top, in the top spot, isn't it? It It is weird, but this is what happens when you go to Raw. AJ, like, this is kind of like Vince being like, all right, AJ, you're a top guy. You're the big fish in a small pond. Now you're a big yeah. fish in a big in, in a very massive pond of upper superstars. Let's see how you handle this. And I think he'll he's still AJ Styles. He's still one of the he's still probably the best worker in wrestling. He's mm-hmm. still this yeah. he's still this generation Shawn Michaels. You can rely on him to do anything um that, that you ask him to do. So I'm not People worried about what AJ Styles gender. does. He, he has good match out of Jinder Mahal. So yeah, like he that, did. That's something, that's something special right there. I, I can't think of one bad program AJ Styles has been in since he came up to the main roster. I can. Shinsuke? No, his Ambrose feud with Ellsworth. <laughs> I like yeah, that. Episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trash. I, I, I liked it because Ellsworth came back and everybody hates Ellsworth, but I think he's kind of ridiculous. And he's, and also, then, pedophile. Yeah, he's also a pedophile, but that was before we knew. But like, and then he randomly turned heel on Ambrose, and they went nowhere with it. They were just like, "Oh, there's great," and it's all over. <laughs> it was also obvious as hell, though. Yeah, I don't know. I AJ AJ is one of those guys that, like, other than his uh, Claire Lynch program in TNA, he hasn't really had anything bad in his entire career that I can think of. No, he hasn't. Damn. Although he did dress as a reindeer once in TNA because he lost a match, but that was like early, early TNA. He 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 also was in Fortune, which people shit on, but I personally loved it. I loved Fortune. He had it? he had the uh, the flare robes. The best boy band name since Three Count. Fortune. Yeah, exactly. With that fucking that this thing. Yeah. Yeah. This 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 was it. Cause they couldn't do four, so they like, right, drop the ring finger and add the thumb. <laughs> Flares here will be fine. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll see. Uh, Seth AJ is going to be very exciting. Ricky, we will be there live Welcome. and in living color. Yeah, thank you um, yeah. for conv- for convincing me. I swear to you, you have bad influence on me in Rick, Hartford, Connecticut. I, I am not a bad influencer at all. I am just an enabler from time to time. Yeah. Um. So what, what's happening? Breaking news, folks. I was, was going to save this till the end of the show, but we'll do it right now. We are cashing in. Um, for May, so Will and I are going to be at Money in the Bank. We just bought our tickets uh, last night. Yeah, yeah. Hey, movie. Wish you could have been there, but yeah, but she's got to save money because in Chicago and Tennessee and all this other shit. So I still the love of my life. <laughs> you have to pick <laughs> one because you, it's it's either Kate or Nikki. You got to pick one of the former former redacted. No, 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 It's it's Kate Murphy and Nikki Skywalker's cooking. Ooh. Hey, Slack, can you make sure Nikki listens to this episode? <laughs> All right, correction, yeah. correction, correction. Her, her, her baking. That, wow, that's, not even cooking. I haven't had her cooking. So you're like Actually, the guy that uses a girl for sex, but you just want food. No, I, I just, yeah. I, 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 she's still mad at me, first of all. She has to text me first. first. At, le- at least she texted you. I haven't got a text from Nikki since this whole thing started. That's even fine. before this whole thing started. To... Nikki you know wants- what? Sure, her my team beats her teams that she hates in hockey. So like that, there's that. You know what? If it, oh, Ricky, Ricky, if if and Slack is for you too. If and when Nikki texts me, chances odds are that I go whole all Sami Zayn on her. I was really <laughs> looking forward to this. <laughs> <laughs> I love like, like that Sam segue. Zane. Like that segue. Yeah, uh, I I Bleach love Sami Zayn. Bleach Report gave him an A plus. He, he's 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 awesome right now. He hasn't even touched the ring, and he's amazing. No matches, no program. Vince is just like, all right, just go. I'm gonna. And, I will. Vince, Vince is like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Here's the mic. Go do you. I will tell you this. Um, SmackDown after Mania, they did have a dark match, Sammy and Kevin Owens. Nice against each other or as a team. Against against each other. Um, so it Sammy can still go. I think they're just taking it very cautious with him. I mean, he did have a really really severe injury. Um, well, so 
feud with like that would make sense. Like who would be like the like the don't belittle the WWE universe. Like who would be uh, that? Braun who would be Strowman. that? Braun, yeah. Braun will work Christ. perfectly. They had a good feud to begin with. Yeah, but Sammy doesn't need to be destroyed. I think Sammy needs to win a mid card feud and then like go on to somebody like Strowman. Sammy could win the Sammy could win the briefcase too. Don't be surprised. I oh, don't see them imagine? getting to Sammy. Don't have, be surprised. Have, well, we don't even one. We don't even know who's in it. Alexa Bliss is going to announce it next week. Um, who are you, who are you? It's six or seven. It's six. Three from six. Raw. Three from SmackDown. All right, I'm picking Sammy, Drew, and Lashley. I'm joking. No, 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 not Lashley. Uh, not Lashley. I'll go Cesaro. Mm-hmm. I, three, I, three I, 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 I. You're right. Uh, Sammy, Drew, and who else is on Raw? Oh, Braun. No. Nah, Braun had it last year. I know, but they just put him in there. Babyface. He won't be in there. No. Like, fine, give me three fucking names then. Rey Mysterio. No, no he's going to he's gonna have to Joe. Uh, actually. Uh, oh, gonna, Cedric who? Alexander. I was going to Sammy, Drew, Cedric. Okay, See, I'll, say, I'll say no to Sammy, and I'll say Robert Roode. Ooh, Robert Roode. Very nice. And then, like, SmackDown, Andrade. Well, do you think they're going to continue Andre, Andrade versus Finn, or do you think they're going to have Andrade? Absolutely. Hey, actually, wait, 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 wait. You what? No, not Cedric. Ricochet. Ricochet. Ricochet and Money in the Bank yeah, is, dude, he has that's, to. That's, li- that's literal money right there. I mean, we were there when Ricochet did the six-man ladder match for the for the North American title. It's going to be Ricochet. It's going to be Ricochet. Ricochet, Drew, and Robert Roode from from Raw. I feel I like see, Sammy's gonna have like some like fucking blow off match. I I, I still say Sammy Drew Ricochet. Oh, right. I'm down. also saying Sammy Drew Ricochet. Thank you, Slack. Great <laughs> contribute. All right, from SmackDown side, we got Black for sure. He's Black still in Raw though. Not. No, he's not. He went now back. Black. Zelina. I was Zelina. Oh, you saying Andrade? Oh, because it's Zelina. Okay, so say, yeah, for sure, Alistair Black's in it. Uh, do you think no Owens is gonna have his title match? Who else is on SmackDown? Who just came over? No, he's gonna be with Elias. Buddy Murphy, maybe. Ooh, that'd be fun. Buddy and Ricochet in the same match would be insane, but I don't think they're gonna give it to Buddy this early. Um, who else is a viable person to be the... Who, like, who can you legitimately see from SmackDown winning the briefcase? That's not right. Uh, I would have said, like, Rusev. Andrade, but Andrade's stuck with, um, Andrade's stuck with Finn. Rusev unless, could do it. Unless, unless they're done with that, because, like, like, Finn won his match and Andrade won his match, so it's like, I guess they're gonna have to have a rubber match. Maybe yeah. Xavier? That'd be weird, though, to have Xavier go into a match where he can cash in on his New Day for exactly party. Exactly why you do it's, it. Exactly why you do it. Maybe. The what-if factor. Um, Chad Gable? He hasn't even been featured yet. Wait. Oh, fuck. I think I might know who they're going to put in. Who? Big old Lars Sullivan. Yeah, it's going to happen. He's not going to have a feud going into Money in the Bank, I don't think. Because like, the only person I could see him legitimately feuding with is Braun, but he's on Raw. Well, I'm glad they split them up. You don't need two monster characters. Yeah. Well, Let's have Big Show come back. We'll, we'll find out next week, but guys, uh, the Viking Raiders are one step closer to being the Oakland Raiders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, 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 the, or the Raider experience. Uh, oh, this God. Ridiculous. It's so bad. They're what was the matter with the War Raiders? Like, what was the matter with Hanson and Rowe, the War Raiders? Because it's on network television, and the word war probably isn't looked on too fondly about by USA Network. Really? War Machine and Iron Man. I just don't personally... <laughs> well, Mick, I'm, I'm not saying this is my own idea. Mick Foley said that the word war probably doesn't fly too well in a make-believe... Well, not make-believe, a fixed program on network television. That's why it worked on NXT, because it was on the network. Same with when they were in ROH. ROH was on network television like once a month. And it wasn't even their big stuff. So I think maybe Foley's right with that. USA was probably like, yeah, we the don't Viking, want to do it. The Viking war. experience, it's, it's fine. It'll give it, give it a few weeks. Before no, it's, it's the it. Viking Raiders. The Vi- sorry, the Viking Raiders. 
It's just so redundant. The term I, Viking I, is literally all is literally like Norse for raiding and pillaging. Yeah. To to like the term Viking is to like, to go Viking. Well, it's they just, also made them change their finisher now too because it's, it's not the, 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 the it's uh the it's called the Viking experience. Yeah, it's the it's the pop up power slam. It's stupid. Now that's yeah. why I want to talk about it. But guys, um, I want to <laughs> I want I want to bring you back to January twenty fourth. Why January twenty fourth? Because this is this of this year. This is when I got a text message from original co- original co host Christian McLaughlin, mm-hmm. and this this he was running gimmicks by me for his. He's trying to become a wrestler, so he was running gimmicks by me for his indie wrestler, and this is what he came up with. This is January twenty fourth at ten forty nine a.m. A Mister Rogers style gimmick. Oh I have a hand my puppet. god! I'm a face, but the hand puppet is a heel. And whenever it gets taken off, I blow a fuse. Me. Sounds like a Santino gimmick. A. <laughs> and Christian goes, A, the Cobra was the most over thing about him. B, that was just a sleeve on his uh, for his move, and it wasn't an actual character. It's an interesting gimmick, but it's doomed for comedy. Christian, I don't know. I don't know, man. I thought so. But then I saw Orange Cassidy wrestle last month, and he was the most <laughs> over guy I've seen at an indie show. And people losing their shit. Amazing gimmick. Me, Orange Cassidy wrestled at a ball this past weekend. He was over as fuck. <laughs> I wait, mean, Slack, when, when he... you, Slack, wait, Slack, do you know who Orange Cassidy is? No. You need to look him up because he's the most amazing person in the world. Go to YouTube. You won't be disappointed. Christian, I mean, when he pitched that, I'm sure people said it was doomed for comedy. It's a great indie gimmick, but can you see Orange Cassidy in WWE with that gimmick? He wrestled, yes. uh, whatever, et cetera, et cetera. No, so it depends on to find a gimmick. Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. So anyway, fast forward to last Monday. Ray Wyatt stole his gimmick. And it is the best thing ever. It's it's creepy. It's intriguing. It makes you want to see what the hell else is going on. All right. No, number one, the theme music for it <laughs> it's is so fucking it's, good. It's fucking Wednesday Night Dynamite. It's absolutely <laughs> flawless. Uh, when he came through the door, I went, damn. Uh, fucking Bo Dallas put on a lot of weight. I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> and, and I knew it was Bray Wyatt, but he came through the door. I was like, that looks just like Bo Dallas. Well, no, he, he did drop a ton of weight. I mean, he does have a baby on the way. Oh, he's ripped. Yeah. He is JoJo's... JoJo's... I hope he names it Abigail. I hope so, too. Oh, my God. That'd be amazing. <laughs> I, I, I hope so. Though. I think they're having a son. I hope they name him Abigail. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen some of the tweets, though, that are like... Just talking about her being the reason why the gimmick changed. Yes, I can like believe how, that. Like, like how Pete, like how how like unrated can I get right now? You know what it is. This is what I would expect as unrated as you want. This is what I expect if the actual Bray Wyatt kayfabe Bray Wyatt tried to be a, like a stay at home dad. Well, because yeah, <laughs> just like some people, they were literally like, it was like. Yo, JoJo's pussy is so game that it made Bray completely break and like become a <laughs> man. Yeah, I think I mean, it's, I it's mean, honestly though, like, have you seen JoJo? Well, yes. I, if JoJo the, was just like, hey, the he best used to watch is for a little bit. <laughs> I yeah, do I it. Um. Well, no, because there, there's even been like pictures of like the new day, like putting like a stack of pancakes on JoJo's ass and stuff. Like, it's just... Because you can do that. That's how big it is. That's um, a great feat. Anyway, um, I think this gimmick is honestly going to turn into, well, like, a split, dick still. a split personality thing. Which is perfect. Because if you notice, he he did cut that stat, like, that... Uh, what do you call it there? Whatever the thing that was, the, the stand up, stand, so, standy. He caught. He did literally cut it in half with a chainsaw, while yeah. laughing maniacally. He, and he also had, a had stupid ha- gloves on. Well, the gloves that hurt and one said heel. Right, heel and hurt. Yeah, so like maybe like his left hand is like the dynamite or something. I don't fucking know where I'm going with this. <laughs> left hand's the dynamite. All right, guys, which so, which which puppet is your favorite? Not the fucking doll. Fuck that doll, yo. The doll's weird. Oh. It's 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 the buzzard, the doll. What's the third one? There's another third one. Oh, it's There's like a, a third one, or something, isn't it? It's like a jackrabbit or something. I don't know. Funny. I think that it's one's on the graphic. It's on the graphic for the show, but you don't. <laughs> the graphic is fucking hilarious. <laughs> I think it's a jackrabbit. 
We haven't really um, seen the Jackrabbit yet, have we? I'm no. just, I'm just, I'm just going to say, let's see where it goes. Yeah, I mean, a good first start. I mean, they played it on both shows, too. So it pretty much means that Bray's probably a free agent. And we don't, they don't know where he's going yet. What if they put him in the Money in the Bank ladder match? Too soon. Yeah, you got to let this gimmick ride out for a while. He needs, he needs uh, more vignettes. Yeah. Who could you see him feuding with, though? Who cares like, at this point? I can't even tell if he's supposed to be a face or a heel, though, and I think that's why yeah, I like it so much. Who title picture? Yeah. Universal title straight away. I'm serious. Yeah. yeah, have him fuck with Seth. Or Kofi. Maybe that's, maybe that's, maybe that's the, the SummerSlam match, Seth versus Bray. Or Kofi versus Bray. But Bray can't wrestle. Bray can wrestle. Would it be weird to have... Kofi versus Bray would be weird, though, because it's generally the same thing. Like, it's like this fucking goofy character, and that's what the New Day <laughs> Two is. Two goofs going after each other. <laughs> well, but, like, Bray's like a scary serial killer schizophrenia-type heel right now. And yeah. Kofi's... Like, you can't say anything bad about Kofi. Kofi's like a Kofi's everybody's darling right now. Kofi's the hero of the people. Exactly. But we'll 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 see where it goes, guys. Let's scoot over to SmackDown real quick, uh, and just talk about what happened there. Shane McMahon still being the greatest thing on television. Uh, I'm getting sick of it. Good. It means it's working. Right. Uh, <laughs> Elias and Roman very odd. I'm gonna say that word odd. I mean, but the, the big man machine is behind Elias, so they are doing something to try to get I him. Like, I like that Elias is being seen in backstage segments with Shane McMahon, which makes me think he's getting that briefcase. That uh, could, could you imagine if he switches the briefcase for a guitar case? You saw that on Twitter. Yes, Money in the bag, it's a guitar case? <laughs> yes, yes. He just takes a sticker off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like how Davian Sandow made his into a chocolate bar. Hey, but Sandow briefcase one of the best briefcases ever created. It looks like an actual briefcase. Were there any actual custom briefcases though that like are actually memorable? But Sandow is probably the only one. Besides him, I mean, like that's why I mean it's like oh, it's the best briefcase ever because it has nothing else to compete with. Because no one else actually, no one else actually switched up the briefcase. I mean, the original briefcase was literally just a black briefcase. Yeah, you with nothing on it. Yeah, nothing yeah. On it. it was just it was just black. And the, I think... the other ones were black with the WrestleMania logo on it. And I think Edge, I think, was the first one to put, like, his own logo on it. Rated R. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Kennedy put his on it. Kennedy! Kennedy! Chicken. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, I, I, I'm I, contemplating bringing my briefcase of money in the bank. I'm probably not, because it's a Wait, no, Elias, yes. sorry, Elias can't get it, because he's having a match with Roman. God damn it. Slap That's you true. You are you are correct. Well, oh, lo- logic sucks, huh? Yeah. Can you I imagine? Know. Have you ever argued with Ricky? It's impossible. <laughs> he just he just he just logics your way through an argument. Although I got him to admit last week that is, um there are there are exceptions to the rule. I always said there's always exceptions to the rule. What rule? But what rule are we talking any, about? Any though? rule. Yeah, but there's exceptions to every rule. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's like, Roddy, like Roddy Piper. Okay. What do you mean? Oh oh you try to oh, because Will's trying to win this top tier argument so. <laughs> And I, I and I have two and I have and I have two words for you, Will. David Arquette. Oh, yeah, but that was WCW though. David Arquette. Yeah, no, <laughs> literally half through like, halfway through the argument, I was saying, please don't bring up Arquette. Please do not bring up Arquette. <laughs> well, you know, I was I was so in the moment, I totally forgot about it. Like I, while I was fuming, I was like, if he says David Arquette, I lose. <laughs> like no matter what. <laughs> like I I can't even say it's WCW. They're not a wrestling company. Like that's that's that, there's just no answer. Like David Arquette, drop the mic. It's over. Ladies and gentlemen, that was King of Things podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but guys, Becky Lynch is defending the belt twice on uh, on the May nineteenth, which yes. was which is honestly the turning point for why I dropped that much money on the ticket. Sorry, mom. Um, I oh, but, once, once I revealed to you the card, <laughs> yeah, I was like, dude, I don't know if I can go. He's like, here's what's happening. I was like, fuck, we might have to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, honestly, I've always wanted to go to Money in the Bank. It's honestly, it's my it's my favorite pay per view. It is one yep. of them. It's it's one of the non major money. It's the non major pay per views that I really wanted to go to. Yeah, like the WrestleMania best. is obviously the favorite one, but yeah, like people money love Rumble, people love Star Series. I love Money in the Bank. Money in the Bank is the best gimmick uh, pay per view there is. I yeah. think. Yeah, absolutely. It's the only one that actually should be a gimmick pay per view. 
Yeah. Other than Sucks TNA, people. other than TNA lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> Lethal lockdown. <laughs> Lethal lockdown. <laughs> Full metal mayhem. <laughs> Full metal mayhem. But guys, um, or, uh, or showdown at the swamp. What? Did does am I the only one who saw Maybe. fucking um, Is that South, Park? No, oh, South Park? No, South Park. 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 South Park Regional Wrestling? Yeah, uh, we watched it, but I don't remember it. I'm sorry. Uh, I do remember that. I never watched it. Um, we all... So, so, which belt is Becky dropping? Neither. I think she I think she retains both. Knockdown. I hope, I, hope she, I hope she drops it to Lacey Evans just so I can hear Dave yelling from Hartford. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last thing I need. It sounds like any of us need. <laughs> <sighs> Don't knock Lacey Evans, man. She, there, there's a rhyme and a reason for her besides the fact that she has a blonde with huge tits. I love um, Lacey Evans. I think she's great. <laughs> she's amazing. I, I, have a conversation with Dave about that one, Slack. Why? Does he not like her? He, no. Do you Let's listen, just... <laughs> listen to <our> show? <laughs> well, I remember because like a couple weeks ago, you were like, you guys were like, don't sleep on Lacey Evans. And I was like, with, and yes, I will. <laughs> Actually, I will gladly fall asleep on top of Lacey Evans. <laughs> that is on my to-do list. Just Love remember- of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, Lacey Evans, is a, Lacey Evans is a former Marine, so she can kill you whenever she wants. Oh my I God. will gladly <laughs> sleep next to Lacey Evans and not anywhere near on top of her vicinity. <laughs> Yeah, she's she's crazy athletic. She's gonna get better in the ring. I like she she has a gimmick tailor made for the main roster. That moon salt though is amazing. Best oh, springboard. Like she's, well, it's, it's it's literally Christopher Daniels' best moon salt ever. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, and I'm Fucking fine with Be- that. Becky loves no selling that women's right. <laughs> she loves it. She just gets hit and is nothing. But that 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 plays into the Becky character. It Becky's does. never been a really good seller to begin with, though. She's not. Um, the but... best woman seller on the roster is Mickey James. She never gets the credit for how good she is. Sasha's a good see... seller, too. Oh, my God. Mickey James took an eclipse from Ember Moon and did a full fucking front flip when she got hit by it. And even, I like, remember that so... one. I and remember that one. It was so good. Coachman on commentary was like, oh, my freaking God. <laughs> it was like, even he was like, fuck, dude. Like, yeah, no, I. I... I think Becky retains both belts, especially because of her promo on Charlotte. Charlotte's promo got really boring. Oh, on yeah. it's it's the same. It's the same old, same old. But Becky was like, "You don't." But it was it was one of those things where it's like kind of blurring reality because Charlotte's like, "I'm always, I deserve to be at the front of the line." I'm Charlotte Flair, and Becky's like, "No, you're not. You just fucking lost." Like, give these other people a chance. Give like Ember Moon and Mickey James like a chance. And Becky's right, in my I opinion. I really never liked Charlotte. Since day one, like I'm not even doing that. Like I, I was hating Charlotte when it wasn't cool. <laughs> when, she was, <laughs> when she was a baby face. That's why Christina got so mad at me before. Probably she was, like, hated Charlotte so much, and she's like, "You're an asshole." <laughs> I fuck you, Slack. Like, oh God, God. Well, she Twitter really originated the "fuck you, Slack." No, she didn't actually. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Twitter figure. I, that. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if she drops to Charlotte just because. Yeah. It's it's so predictable. Yeah, well, I, I just don't want it. it. That it would make... How how long can she defend both belts? I say SummerSlam. SummerSlam, yeah. Which sucks. I'm going to SummerSlam, and I don't want to see her drop it at SummerSlam, but I think she will. Uh, does everything have to wait till SummerSlam? You know, how many months away SummerSlam is? Five, uh, two, four, four. Actually, well, think about it. WrestleMania played to played its part as being the babyface pay per view. SummerSlam is the pay per view for the heels. That Always has true. been. That is, is that is that's that is very true. Always has been. So what was the main event of SummerSlam last year? I don't even remember. Oh, uh, Brock. Brock. Brock Roman. It the one that Roman won, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was a. If Brock was going to cash in, and then Braun. I'm not Braun. Braun, Braun was going to cash in. Brock threw the briefcase all the way up the ramp, and then Roman speared him and won. So yeah, like we like we said for heels. Usually. <laughs> <laughs> at, at that point, at that point, it was a heel. It was only a few months later before we became the big, biggest baby face in the company. Um, yeah. So I don't know. It's it's interesting. 
I like that she defends both belts. It's very interesting. It's very Becky Lynch. You know what else I like as well? The intricacy and how she presents herself. So mm-hmm. when she's on Raw, she wears the Raw belt. And she and carries... holds the SmackDown. Then and she on... switches. Oh, I never switches. even noticed that. I noticed, yeah. I noticed that too. Because she came on Raw. It's like, why is she wearing the like, wearing the SmackDown holding the Raw? I thought it should... Because I was like, it should be reversed. I don't know why. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. But it's me and my producer mind was just like, it should be reversed. It looks better. Well, people are really, really surprised that they didn't unify the titles and just make it the women's championship. I think they they're doing that for a reason. I think well, Becky's about to get a fat contract, especially if she's pulling off double duty all the time. It's a lot of travel time. Like if she can legitimately do this and defend both titles for maybe four, four, five months, you don't Becky's need. Becky's golden right now. She's doing everything yeah. right. Like she's it's different. She's been the, She's been the most over character since SummerSlam last year. Yeah. Would it make sense for her to culminate her story at SummerSlam this year? Yes. Well, she started getting over in the build to SummerSlam. But then she got over as hell because she'd not, she, she turned Charlotte. heel. She mentioned, in the, she mentioned the promo. She's like, I've been known to throw a few fucking lefts in my day. Heidi, 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 har. All right. Oh, and the, and the Usos, the Usos mentioned a DUI. Hilarious. Oh, that was on Raw. That was really good. Yeah, I, I didn't want to see that. I didn't see that. I didn't that see anymore. that. that. They're like, oh, we don't drink and drive, and then they looked at each other. Oh, uh, ha, ha. Come on, dude. It made, it made it to Hulu Raw Tuesdays, all right? This, Ro- this Robert Roode was not there. I was just going to say, quickly going back, what do you guys think about Robert Roode? Like I the, love it. The change. I didn't see it, but it, I love the mustache. It's very creepy porn star. It's creepy 70s porn star. It's, it's like, it's what Val Venus should have been. No, Val Venus, <laughs> no, Val Venus <laughs> needs to be Jeez. Val Venus. Val Venus was perfect, okay? I'm, like, I, Val Venus is amazing. It should have been Pal Penis. No, Val Venus oh, worked. Uh, I, I like Robert was Roode's it angle. It close enough to Penis that it was like, <laughs> ah, I get it. Yeah, I think Robert Roode's going to work because it's more like his NXT heel Bobby Roode. Yeah. Yeah. Or like the It Factor in uh, TNA, yeah. which was amazing yeah. when he spit Dixie Carter's hair. Yeah, maybe he maybe he'll get some more beer money now. Once once it makes uh, Hulu Raw, I'll let you know what I think. Um, so have Kevin you Owens, seen the photos yet? I have. I told you, it's amazing. I love it. It's weird that he beat Ricochet. It is. I thought that, that was weird Ricochet. as well. They just beat like I don't know some like random ass mid Carter like just Speaking not. Speaking of constantly guy. losing. The Iconics haven't won a damn thing ever since they won the titles. Oh, not true. They beat one of the best tag teams in the world on the SmackDown after uh, WrestleMania. Touche, touche. How could one I forget? The, they were 42-0, and 0 and the Iconics <laughs> stomped them out. What is it, the Brooklyn Bells? <laughs> I forgot like all that, about yeah. that. <laughs> I pay too much attention to Peyton Royce. That's, that's, hey, we that, all that's fine. When, that's when, fine. When, when, Yo, when Ty Paris... Dillinger. Though Ty Dillinger is winning life right now, he's not working for WWE and he's still dating Peyton Royce. That's are just they like, engaged? I don't know what they are, but they are something. When Kyrie saying Pinder, I paused it. It was, it was, it was love of my life. <laughs> Royce, guys. Um, my god, dude. You slap Peyton Royce. Don't sleep on Billy Kay though. Billy Kay is actually a looker. I I will push Billy, Billy Kay out of the Billy bed. Kay. I don't know. You gotta look at Billy Kay's Instagram. Her Instagram's fire lately. Well, let me, oh, let, let, me let me take a peek. You know what it is when, when Peyton Royce comes out and she has the belt behind her when she's doing her ass shake. It makes it makes Nikki Bella's ass shake look like Ellsworth's chin. Oh God! Ew. Ugh. Yeah. Ew. Right. <laughs> Nikki's ass. Oh Jesus. Ricky you gotta, you gotta, you gotta think that like for Ty Dillinger's birthday, Peyton gave him like her and Billy at the same time. Nah, I don't. I don't is Billy I, single? Is she like is Billy K single? Like legitimately? Of half like half the roster. Like this is getting into like fucking like weird territory. But like, I don't know who half the roster is. I know Becky Lynch is dating Seth. Is that legit? Yeah, I think I think so. Like there was like pictures of her like struggling up. Becky's dating Seth. Andrade's dating Charlotte. Both the champions. Andrade Andrade, apparently they're engaged. That's the rumor. That's why he got switched over. Why would you? Well, it's also Charlotte's. Charlotte's. That's Charlotte's third marriage potentially. 
Charlotte's good from like the, the neck down. <laughs> Just like your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zelina's married to Alice so Black. Black. So they're not. They don't. They will split up couples. They they won't split up marriages usually. Bianca Belair is married to Montez Ford. And they both haven't been called up to NXT or from NXT yet. Nikki oh Cross is engaged to Killing Dane. Royce. Uh, I feel Bianca Belair, and, and I know you don't like her, but I do feel like the Street Profits and Bianca Belair should be a thing. Yeah, for sure. I think they should be. They should team up. Um, kind of like how early NXT Enzo and Cass was, and then I you brought in Carmella, and then and then she they was... skyrocketed up. But they they work. were a great they were a great trio, um, and now Enzo and Cass are selling really shitty T shirts on Represent dot com. Oh really? Yeah, yeah they are. Fucking Peyton Max. Royce without Peyton Royce without makeup is still a nine. <laughs> or what? Peyton Royce without makeup still I a nine. I told you to look up oh. Billy K. I did. Peyton Royce is much better. <laughs> Love like, of my life, Ricky. I swear to God, one of these days, like, Kate and Nikki are just going to, like, be like, you know what? Fuck off, Will. And then they're just not going to talk to you anymore if you keep throwing around this love of your life thing. The way the way my week's been going, Kate Murphy's never going to stop texting me. <laughs> <laughs> love I, of my life, Kate Murphy. I, do it, I feel like we've gone to, like, this territory where we're not even doing the fucking show anymore. Well, no, yeah, we're, no, this is always part of a show. We have one last thing to talk about, and that is uh, Kevin Owens turning heel, which I did not see coming until someone texted me about it. And said, did you see that coming? <laughs> I, I think I, it, was, it was when Vicky told me to card. I was like, well, Kevin Owens turned heel. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it, I, I think... Go ahead, Slack. I'm just surprised how early they did it. I am, too. Well, they, I, have, they have three I, weeks to the uh, show. My theory, or my thinking is, yeah. was... That Kevin Owens like was gonna like that Kofi would have like a match with like I don't know like say Elias for the title right like that was yeah. what my thinking was and Kevin Owens would be at ringside all this blah 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 and they would run with Owens in the New Day for a long time. I liked it too. And then and then Big E would come back and be the heel, which would have been he, interesting. He would be so mad that they replaced him in the New Day with Kevin Owens, and Big E would finally get that singles run that everyone's been saying he's going to get. Yeah. I mean, it made perfect sense, and then they have Kevin turn. Everybody that got the singles run from the New Day, I did not expect it to be Kofi. I thought for sure it was going to be Big E first. It probably was, but the way the New Day function as like as their actual real-life friends, everything, like, they give Kofi every opportunity first. Well, and then Kofi kind of has to... This wasn't even supposed to happen, because, like, True. Mustafa Ali got hurt, and that's the only reason we are where we are right now. Yeah. Exactly where we are. I mean, guys, I mean, it's like I say it time and time again. It was a theme of WrestleMania. It was a theme of the uh, the work. Organic storytelling. Storytelling. All yep. of WrestleMania, top to bottom, except the Miz and Shane McMahon, was completely, <laughs> was com- was completely organic. Yeah. Now, just just for argument's sake, just because oh, yeah. I'm curious what you guys think. Where would we be right now if Mustafa Ali hadn't gotten hurt? Where where would the SmackDown picture be right now? Like he would, who would he be, would be a, he would be the, he would probably be a champion, although maybe not because the Saudi Arabia show got rescheduled apparently. So do you think yeah. do you think right now Brian would still be WWE champion, or do you think it'd be somebody else? I it'd be do. Mustafa. If if you go if you go back to my original argument for why I didn't think Kobe should have been in that spot, it was because it would have been just lost in the mid card because I, th- I thought Daniel Bryan was going to win before he got that great storytelling. And if it was yeah. Mustafa Ali, I think that's exactly what would have happened, especially with the show being rescheduled. Um, yeah, because you got to tell me someone that was the name Mustafa is going to get cheered to hell as WWE champion in Saudi Arabia. Well, please. too bad it's Ali now. They only that, turned it to uh, Ali. Yeah, well, that's after I he came back. Tweet where it's just like, oh, it must be easier for him to get through an airport now, and it's just like, oh my oh, god, wow. Like Jesus, and he actually responded. He's like, actually, it's it's always just been hard because have you looked at me? <laughs> <laughs> True. I mean, it, it's it's interesting because I think we talked about it on the WrestleMania like after show was that uh, Mustafa probably would have won, but it wouldn't have as large as a reaction that Kofi did. No, unless they did the close. exact same way, where like they they, they, they would have. But the, the but the difference is Slack is that 
they, the Kofi had something Mustafa didn't have, and that's 11, 11 years. years, 11 oh, years no, no, of support. I, I totally get that. I, I, I'm not saying that Mustafa would have been anywhere near as over because like, right. he was. But he, he would have ran the gauntlet. He would have faced all the adversity, <laughs> yeah. and he, it would have been the Daniel Bryan story just reversed, just with a different guy. He this still happened. Kofi Kingston was the better choice. He's too. He was. He was too new to the roster for it to have the same impact as Kofi. For, for anyone to really care. Yeah. yeah. But Kevin Owens now. Um, Kevin Owens is always a better heel. Yep. But I was excited for a babyface Kevin Owens. I think he deserves it. This changes character a bit. Now it's going to be the same old song and dance. Like, but Kevin some, Owens. But some people, <laughs> some people are just really good heels. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I was enjoying the Kevin Owens face turn guy. Like, especially when we met him, we're like, oh, shit, he's a, actually a really nice guy. And yeah, now it kind of makes him. me think, is like, is he really just a dick <laughs> in person? He's just playing his gimmick for right now. Um, but Kevin's a great heel. Is he going to win the title at Money in the Bank, though? No. I hope not. I, no, I, for Kofi's sake, I hope. legitimately taking the title off of Kofi? Elias. <laughs> Do you think there's any? Do you no, think there's any, they, no, no. think there's any chance that they turn Roman heel and have him be Kofi? Yeah, that's not a sign. I don't think they they let Roman. Roman will get that title. It will not be off of Kofi though. I don't think Kofi, Kofi holds it till SummerSlam. To Kofi? be honest, really? I, I think, think so. he holds. I think he holds it till SummerSlam. And loses it at SummerSlam or up and like. Or maybe Just, Raw after SummerSlam. I don't know. I feel like you. I feel like you give Kofi a legitimate run. It's really funny because there's a couple of wrestling um, Instagram pages that are counting the days that Kofi's champion. Because <laughs> everybody's like, "All right, so when are you going to take it off?" I'm like, "When is this joke over?" What um, are the chances that they give it to Lars Sullivan? Ooh, slim, very. So though, because he's coming out destroying all these legends and stuff, and then he just attacked a bunch of Indians on SmackDown. So like. Well, here's here's the thing with go well, back to Kofi. Yeah, yeah. WWE has to be smart. They have to listen. They have to pretty much book by the crowd. As yeah. soon as those chants start to die down and people kind of just like, eh, whatever, that's, we're over it. That's when you pull the trigger. Yeah. But you, yeah. it's gotta, it's gotta be like right now. It's still the it, it, the bar is still up at ten. It's still green. Once it gets yeah. down to yellow, like in between green and yellow, that's when you pull the trigger. But they can't yeah. panic book at the same time. Just be like, okay, uh, just give it to the damn, like, because they, because I got a feeling they might do that. Do you think there's a chance that they can make Alistair Black work as a heel and have him be Kofi? Absolutely, that could work. Actually, a black mask takes out Kofi and Alistair wins. Oh, it's the battle of the kicks. Yeah, like, I'm gonna kick trouble. you in the head like, harder than you kick me in the head. Like, he goes from <laughs> trouble in paradise and on the turn, like Black just smokes him. Exactly, and Kofi will sell that like no one's business. He is, I, it wouldn't have to wouldn't I, be that hard. Flipping hell, now I really want to see that. That that could be that could that could be how Alistair Bank uh, Alistair Black wins Money in the Bank, and Black masses his way to a championship. When's Hell in a Cell? Hell in a Cell is like in October, isn't it? October. It's it's the old Armageddon. Oh, if, if if Kofi can hold it till then. Oh, I Black Mass off match. the top of the cell. No, 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 let's not get like ahead feet. of ourselves. I think Alistair Black is made for Hell in a Cell. Yeah, with all the kicks and shit and all the kneeing and, yeah. Well, Girls I'm, I'm love only... Alistair Black, by the way. Oh, Kate Murphy loves Alistair Black. Oh, my God. Love of her life. <laughs> um, all right, Ricky, are you ready for tweets? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just coming I wanna, back. I want to ask one question first, though. Go ahead. NXT last week with the seeming implosion of the Undisputed Era. What do you think is going on there? Uh, it's they just like we did. They're working the crowd. That faction okay. is too good. So that it's not just me that thinks split up. Yeah, because I tweeted about that, and because I, I, I don't, I no, I do like to brag. Um, I predicted Roderick Strong joining the Undisputed Era when he turned on Pete Dunne. Because when they did that triple threat tag, it was Authors of Pain, or no, yeah, Authors of Pain, Undisputed Era versus Dunn and Strong for the titles, right? Yes. And everyone's like, oh, Pete Dunn's going to turn on Roderick Strong. Pete Dunn, Pete Dunn, Pete Dunn. And I was like, do people forget that they were trying to recruit Roderick Strong in the Undisputed Era for so long? Like, what if Roderick turns? <laughs> we, and, we were there. And, yeah. and we were like, one, two, wait a minute. <laughs> I thought 
Yeah, I think that, my oh. my initial my initial thought was like, oh, Roderick Strong broke up the pin. That's like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> so my thinking for that is that they're gonna do Cole versus Gargano again at, I guess it'd be the. It won't. It wouldn't be Takeover Toronto. It'd be the one in between Toronto. So I guess like the one it's before the, the Summer Takeover, whatever it is. Do you think they're gonna wait that long though to go all the way to that, like all the way to August, or do you think there's gonna be one in between? I think there's gonna be one in between. Usually, the Money in the Bank is when they did the Takeover, which because uh, yeah. that's yeah. Chicago, but so, they're not doing it this time. So I think what's gonna happen is there is it's gonna be like Gargano versus Cole or whatever. And like the ref's gonna take the bump, and Strong's gonna come down. He's not gonna be wearing like an on his future. Like he's just gonna be wearing like street clothes or whatever, like a hoodie. Yeah. And he's gonna come down with a chair, and he's just gonna like look at Cole, and Cole's gonna be like, no, no, no. And then like Cole, and then Strong's just gonna deck Gargano with a chair, and like pull off the hoodie and show that he's in the era, and then Cole's gonna win the title, and then Gargano goes up. That's fine with me. Well, as typical with NXT, whatever you think's gonna happen, you're probably wrong. Yeah, <laughs> they, do that, they do that a lot. Yeah, let me get my shirt. Sure. Gain the title. I did not think that they would give it to Organo. No, I, mean, I thought that was giving it to Cole. I thought they're gonna pull a trigger on Adam. Yeah, I think they're gonna AC baby. <laughs> yeah, no one in the crowd thought that Gargano was winning that thing. Well, that double super kick and then the last shot to the back of the head. My buddy and I were watching. We're like, okay, it's over. And we both got off the couch. We're like, no, that did, no, 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 that didn't just happen. Yeah, I was in the crowd. I was calling the kicks, and then I was like, "Count it!" And then it did, and then he kicked out. And I was like, "How? Like how?" <laughs> My brain hurts. Stop yeah. it! Stop it! He's already dead. Pretty much. All right, let me pull up the let me pull up the music, Vicky. We've done this in a long time. This is a t- this is the this is the biggest tip of the crown of all time. I'm I'm doing top tens now. Good so thing for, is good thing is bumper is six minutes. Yeah, for future Just shows. For future shows, we might do like the ten to ten to six beginning of the show, and then five to one at the end. Nah, it's just do all ten to begin with. All right, that's fine. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Tweets. <laughs> Didn't you miss it? <laughs> I do. To put a crown featuring King Ricky. Give me a one. When. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally back through all the work, through all the shenanigans, through all the mania. Tip of the crown has finally returned and it is our top 10 now favorite tweets of the week. So my number 10 favorite tweet of the week comes from Justin Henry at JRH writing. And it's a picture of a new Robert Rude and he names him Silas the Snake Rude. Great. Ooh. Yeah, right? <laughs> Yes, uh, my number nine favorite tweet of the week comes from Patreon member and fellow Mania friend of ours, Nate, the great effing game changer at Real Effing Game, and he goes watching the Iconics looking into each other's eyes, just kiss already. Oh, please. Yeah, right? Yes, please. <laughs> Love of Will's life, Nate Royce. <laughs> That's true. My number eight favorite tweet of the week comes from another Patreon member, um, and also the, the, the reason that was... Thing is called Tip of the Crown. Oh, Hashtag no. Mr. Fretz at the legendary JF. And Love Mr. of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Fretz goes, Sammy is a better travel agent than the Colognes. Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's yes. Oh, my God. All right. So, folks, 10, 9, 8. All right. So, my number seven favorite tweet of the week comes from fellow uh, Wrestle Addict Radio and Ram with that member of a Demon Diva, Issa, the Diva Incarnate, at WWE Demon Diva. She goes, the Bray Wyatt segment felt like when you're trying out a new food and need more than one spoonful before you decide if you can fuck with this or not. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to need another spoonful. <laughs> That's fair, man. That's fair. That's good. My number six favorite tweet of the week comes from uh, hashtag redacted uh, faction member at the Kate Murphy, the Queen Bee Experience, and she goes, <laughs> "The glorious Robert Roode is what they call my creepy, creepy Uncle Bobby when he drinks too much whiskey and watches every episode of Friends featuring Tom Selleck." Jesus, all these specific, <laughs> really? Yeah. Yes, uh, the Queen Bee Experience, also a member of our Patreon. My number five favorite tweet of the week comes from another Patreon member, Rachel Moon, at Miss Love Bat. And Rachel goes, I just realized Money in the Bank is being held on May 19th. Nobody tell Kane. Oh, I, saw... <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. 
May 19th. He was obsessed Kane, with May 19th. Kane right. had an angle way back in like 2007. Explain to me off there. May, May yeah. okay. Anyway, my number four favorite tweet of the week comes from uh, at, at underscore V Kate Murphy, the Queen Bee Experience again, and she love goes, of my life. Love she of goes, Ricky's life at this point. Whoa, 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 whoa! I say I, I I stick to one one person per faction. Anywho, Michael Cole just said Vincent Corbin. I've never been less aroused in my whole life. And that's hard <laughs> to do with Kate Murphy. She's aroused by a lot of things. <laughs> I saw that tweet. I liked it. <laughs> Of course you did. Uh, my number yep. three, my number three favorite tweet of the week comes from a guy named Mark at B C A F C Mark, and he goes, "Only three guarantees in this world: death, taxes, and Kevin Owens will turn on you." Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, my number two favorite tweet of the week comes from the Viking Hayes. Hazers at Mr. Warren Hayes, and he goes, Enzo and Kazakh and Kazakh sell sound like Xbox gamer tags that piss me off in a Halo multiplayer. How many days? Ten days. God, enough of it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, finally we are here. My number one favorite tweet of the week comes from a guy named Zach. At the Zach Lethal, and he says, "Jojo's pussy so fire it changed Bray Wyatt into a whole different man." That's the one. That's the one that I'm <laughs> during the show. Yeah, and God honestly, right it did. I believe him, ladies and gentlemen. That is now my official top ten favorite tweets of the week. Hashtag Tip of the Crown. If you want to be a part of this segment, just use hashtag Tip of the Crown during any time you are live tweeting about wrestling. It is going to be back. It's going to be on YouTube. Bigger, better than ever. Will back to you, sir. You know, I think if you listen to our show enough, you'll probably hear uh, Ty Dillinger's theme more than you did on Raw. Or ever. And SmackDown. <laughs> or Combined. ever. For Evers and Evers and Ralph Fiel Devers. All right. Um, King of the Night. I already have mine. This is tough. Oh, Sami Zayn. Actually, no, no, I lied. I'm going to give it to Slack. Really? Yeah, dude. It's, I, I, mission accomplished. Do I get to do a slow? I, a slow. I a slow. A, I a get slow to, slack. I get to do a show yeah. with the motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, you weren't on a yacht this time. I know. I, 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 didn't, I didn't have a job this time. This is true. <laughs> Slackster, who you got? Uh, Jesus, this week sucked so bad. That's um, all I bought you on. <laughs> I was like Ricky, a little late on that one. <laughs> I'm sorry, it took me a little bit. <laughs> wow. Um, fuck, I don't even know. Um, <laughs> I honestly don't. This week was so, I guess Kevin Owens. All right, Dave, Ricky, who you got? <laughs> Kevin Owens. I'll give it to Kevin right, Owens. Kevin Owens. Uh, I'm gonna give it to somebody who um probably deserves everybody's respect. I have called him. One of the best characters WWE has created. I've also called him the ultimate mid-carder. And he finally, uh, and sadly, in a very, very, in a very, very tear-jerking like video vignette on Twitter, um, put an end to the gimmick. Uh, Dustin Reynolds, go dust. Uh, yeah. like yeah. Did you see did you see the video? I didn't watch yeah. the video, but I saw the I saw the face paint red. I saw like the thumbnail. Well, well, not that. Well, he's he's gonna be facing Cody, right? Um, at at double or nothing, which is actually really funny because there was an um, there was an American Nightmare character before Cody, and it was Dustin. Uh huh. Um, but but in the video package, he uh he puts a robe, he puts his gold dust robe in a, in like a chest. He takes like a a like a kind of one of those Blake model things with like. The fit with the gold dust face paint, he puts it in the chest, he locks the chest, he pauses, and then he says goodbye and he puts it away. Then Randy Orton uh, came in, lit it on fire, and did the pose. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it, it's it's very sad, it's very changing. A lot of us have grown up on gold dust being that that ridiculous character, which is something like something about gold dust just oh, just made you like very interested in him all the time and if you give five dollars to our patreon a month you can hear me rave about gold dust in <laughs> wrestle wars he is in his prime right now 1996 the may pay-per-view is beware of dog where he goes up against the undertaker in a casket match for the ic title i we're remember talking, this we are talking prime gold dust ladies and gentlemen gold dust is arguably Top, actually, definitely 
top five greatest mid carders of all time. But what a gimmick! He took he took a shit gimmick that he didn't know what it meant, and he made it work. Yeah, he's literally it's said, like, "I had no idea." What it, he was like, "Yeah, I'll do it." And then he's like, "What the fuck is androgynous?" <laughs> he had to Google it. That's, yeah, he had, no, he had to go to the he had to look, dictionary. He had to look it up in a dictionary. He had to did Webster's he want to get breast implants at one point? Yes, he, he did. He would have yes. gotten breast implants, and let's just say, thank God he didn't. Yeah, Marlena had all the implants for for everybody. Yeah, I will look better than Charlotte's. Yeah, they I don't are. know. I, I don't know. Person. The second, the Charlotte's second ones are are better. It's... The fact that she missed a month and a half because she popped the tit is like still my favorite. Have, have, you, have you ever popped the tit? <laughs> <It's> like... I <laughs> almost did during that whole fucking work thing. Let my me God. tell you, man. Six <laughs> six weeks of rehab. You're not gonna believe it. You pop a tit at six weeks of rehab. Yeah. Seriously? It's no, Slack, not seriously. <laughs> Fuck off. Do you, guys, do you remember when like Becky Lynch tweeted something about Charlotte? It's just like, I'm just glad I didn't lose, uh, lose six weeks of my career due to something. I don't remember what it was. It was literally just a picture of Charlotte's tits. Due to rehab. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, anything else? Well, Ricky and Slack, anything else you want to add before we wrap this shit up? Uh, we're going to Money in the Bank, so I'm pretty excited for that. It's, it's always a pay per view that I wanted to see. We got we got okay seats for a very cheap price, all things considered. Yeah, I told all my friends I'd be there to watch them graduate, but no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> they're in for quite the shock. Let's tell Nash. I'm gonna have to tell Nash for not recording that night again. <laughs> Well, he's probably yeah. gonna say no too because he's graduating. Yeah, so I mean, it was a uh, it was a decent week in wrestling. I mean, you're, you're, you have, this is like the the WrestleMania hangover is over now. You got to start building into something. So I think it's good. Um, ROH versus New Japan War of the Worlds is happening soon. Um, so that's gonna be a pretty interesting time in, in wrestling to watch that series across uh, different cities and and countries, I believe, uh, as well. And also, Slack, thank you. For, for being on the show, uh, you you're good. You're very very good. Like I said, I found somebody who I painted more than you, and it's great. So yeah. we all, yeah. we all, well, all the patrons. Like, no you made you made your way up the totem pole. That's, the, that's... This this show has been very weird. We started off with, <laughs> with who the lady on my Instagram was to why I got involved in the in the Twitter feud to just regular wrestling, then talking about Peyton Royce and all. It was it's been a ride tonight. Congratulations, Slack. You went from rock bottom to just plain old bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and with that... You're moving up in the world, Slack. This is a and, good thing for you. And with that... <laughs> let's cue that music. Did you end with Goldust? No, we ended with Sami Zayn. How do you know? Because the way you're fucking horribly dancing. I was going to say... <laughs> it looks like you're having a seizure. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've been listening to episode number 145 of the Kings of the Rings podcast. Ricky, can guess what it is? What? Um, love of my life or it's festival of friendship. Right. The love of my life. Of course, we all know the real love of my life is this podcast. If you want to follow this podcast, put it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and back to my promise, Taylor Star underscore podcast. Anyone, Edgar, podcast, we are King of the Ring. This one, your little boom machine, type in Wrestle Addict Radio. We will find us there, along with Not Gonna Throw Up, the Mashes Pod, Fourth Wall Wrestling Pass, which, Ricky, I listen to them. They're good. <laughs> I told you that from the jump. I know, I know, but they called me out, and I've listened to them more and more, and like I stepped up and not. I've got a couple of haters. A couple of haters. A couple of haters? We are so fucking gay, Pat. Fucking gay. Go <laughs> check us out at Edward Podcast on SoundCloud to see us. Go to the camera connection. Everywhere else, we've got next. It's great for you. It's pretty much me. One girl that gets a speech on your chat. Guys, I need to watch one more thing. I need to watch one more thing. Step off. Ricky, what's your name? Uh, I don't even know what the hell you just said, and nor do I care. Ladies and gentlemen, this is King Ricky Rose of the Kings of the Rings podcast. Uh, you can find me as your social media ambassador of KOTR underscore podcast across all social media. Uh, I'm also a general manager of Wrestle Addict. Radio, follow Addict Wrestle on Twitter to learn about all of our other shows. You can follow me personally at Ambassador Biggs across all social media. Um, and also, last but not least, again, for another time, Slack, 
thank you for being on the show, for filling in, for providing some pretty interesting insight. Uh, hopefully, Slack just makes you become a, a, a Patreon member because, honestly, Slack, we have been awaiting your arrival in our Patreon chat. <laughs> Slack, it's so much fun. Yeah, Kate, yeah, talks yeah. About, Kate talks we'll about always on a daily basis. Yeah, she talks about we'll she talks about a reproductive oh, organs all the time. Um, so. That's something I don't need to hear about. Trust me, trust me, you do. You don't know it, but you, you do. don't realize it until you get it. <laughs> yeah. You, Slack... know, you know what? You know what? Uh, Easy said about the spoonful thing. It's just like that. Exactly. So Slack, <laughs> it, it's just it's one American dollar a month. It's fine. Yeah, you but in to... Canadian, that's a dollar twenty-five. That's nothing, Slack. That's fine. <laughs> that's in fine. this day and age, you live at home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Slack, give you plugs. Where can we find you across the Twitter sphere, internet, anyone, everywhere? Do you have a podcast? I feel like everyone has a podcast. No, he doesn't have, have a podcast. One. Thank I you. Have a YouTube, I have a YouTube channel. He has a basement. All right, plug it. Check it out. We'll all check it out. Yeah, we'll check it out. We'll follow uh, Yeah, I think it's the one, I don't know. I think it's like the one and only phenomenal reviewer because I do like WWE reviews and stuff, but I've kind of fallen off the wagon lately. I literally haven't done reviews since TLC last year because I was just so exhausted from how bad Survivor Series was. Ooh. Um, I hated Survivor Series last year. That was terrible. Um, Twitter is at, at slackstyle09. As for Instagram, I don't actually know my Instagram off by heart because I'm not on there. I'm not I'll tell you right now, it's glorious slack. I think it's like a good, it's like an underscore in there or something. Just because I, just because you know you have to have an underscore, otherwise you really have a handle. Um. It's yes. glorious uh, underscore. It's glorious underscore slack. That's what was, it is. I was close. All right, ladies yeah. and germs. We will be back next week with a brand new host, brand new guest, all much shenanigans and more coming in the coming weeks and months. But until then, we're the kings of the rings. I thought this amazing breakdown was going to happen, but it didn't. But we'll no, see you next it. week. Hey, slack. Fuck you. Fuck you both. <laughs> Yes, I've been waiting to do that. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that was terrific. I love to stop my audacity. Yes. Yes. Uh, Slack export MP3. And then. Where do I go for that? Just file? However, you you did it last time. Export as MP3? Or do I do export uh, MP3 or wave? MP3. Do not do wave. Okay. And um, I message you my email. Go to wetransfer.com and type in my email and send it to me. Okay. And then uh, I, I will like edit it. Bit, like the bitrate mode and all that stuff, variable yes. speed, like just leave it. Um, if you can do bitrate as I think forty four thousand. Says preset. Says preset variable average constant. It just just do as whatever. It's fine. All right. Yeah, I mean, forty eight thousand is typical, but. Uh, location of. Lamb and stuff, just like whatever, I guess. Just whatever. Just whatever the fault right. is. Could not open MP3 encoding library. What the fuck's like? Ricky, we had this, we've had this problem before, haven't we? I don't know. He's using Audacity? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you have? Wait, but we got it to work for you before. Yeah, I wasn't having this issue before. Can you do a save as? And then you can encode it yourself? No, I, I can't open with Audacity. That's a, that's a problem. But can you save as an MP3? I can do save project as. No, that won't be an MP3. Not Wait, do you, have, you, do, you have, do you have a thing like with Audacity? You have to have like a, an extra download to save it as an MP3. I don't have that. You can look it up. I forgot what it is, but it's you're on Windows, export right? As MP, yeah, export as MP3. Let's call it Kings. Should be able to export as MP3, yeah. Yeah, that's what everyone else does. All right, I'm going back. It says Audacity needs the file lamb whatever to create MP3s to get a free copy of lame. Click here. Yeah, yeah, do that. Do that. Just download that. It's an extension. Yeah, download the lame file. It sent me all the way to fucking. I'm on the. It's like a shitty. Wiki, it's yeah. like a shitty Wikipedia page, but yeah. Yeah. It it it, it, it works. Because I've done it before. Don't worry, we're not going to virus your computer. We don't hate you that much. Oh, what the hell am I supposed to do here? <laughs> it's it, it's you're on you have a Windows, right? So it should be pretty easy. Oh my god! To download, click the links below. 
Just make sure you're doing the right link. It'll be like it's a lot quicker okay. than what it looks. It's like it's like a couple mega, a couple kilobytes big, whatever. Yeah. Okay, run. Yes. Well, oh, like I said, redacted faction. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> okay, now that this thing is here, I'm going to try this again. You installed it and oh, everything, okay, right? It's like artist name, track title, all that shit. All that BS, yeah. Do I just fill it out or just leave it? Just leave, leave it. it. Just save it just Save it as your name. How long does it take? Like 10 minutes? Oh, I just it put should K depend on your, your computer, but it shouldn't take anything more than like a few minutes. Yeah. All right. I'm going to be watching hockey right now, but I can't unplug my TV. Well, yeah, I can. Hold on. Who's, who's playing right now? Capitals in Carolina. Don't look at the score and spoil it for me because I will kill you. I don't care about either of those teams, so. Oh, no. I'm guessing the Capitals are losing. Discussing the location of the face-off. Where was the puck shot out of play from? <laughs> I hate it when my roommate shouts. It's still tied. They're just talking about, like, some random-ass shit. What, um, what was I going to say? What, uh, what period? Seven. It's game oh, seven. This... Time. Game seven OT? Yeah, and the Capitals are my team. You might be really dis disappointed then. Canes suck. Yeah, but they took you guys to game seven. Because we got screwed out of a goal that we were owed last game. Oh, uh, really? It's, Shows you how much I've been like, following. Once the Islanders moved in, moved along, I just stopped caring about the first the round. Still in it. Like, from, two, from two camera angles, it looked like the puck was underneath the goalie's pad. But yeah. from another angle, you can see that it's not. But the referees only saw the two angles, so it looked like it was under his pad. And then the puck was put in the net, as if. But it looked like they pushed the pad, the puck from under his pad. Oh, uh, shitty! But there's and, an angle where the puck isn't actually under his pad. Oh, uh, and yeah, well, we under swept the uh, swept the first round opponent. Penguins, yeah. They swept the Penguins, yeah. They wow. they beat their ass. Columbus swept the fucking Tampa Bay Lightning. Thank the Lord. <laughs> I was really scared of Tampa Bay. They were so good in the regular season. <laughs> yeah, and then they fucking choked <laughs> in fucking four games to the second place wildcard team. Yeah. Their goalie just tripped our guy and there was no penalty on the play. Jesus Christ. The refereeing has been atrocious. I wish I was just dedicated to hockey. I'm not going to lie. I just really hope the Capitals win this. Just, oh, I need them to win this. Dude, Radio Lab had an, an amazing podcast about I don't hockey. To get out of the second round, I just need them to win the first round. If this goes like double overtime, my heart's not gonna be able to take it. I might wind up dead. Slack, we can't kill you on recording. You're gonna make me have to stop the recording. <laughs> <laughs> so, who who killed Michael Slack, the Washington Capitals? So like, like a player from there? No, the whole team. This could be evidence. This actually could use it to boost our. Uh... To, to, to boost our followers. Just... Yeah, dude, if this goes national... Yeah, if you die on film, Slack... Although, it's like Canadian national, so... I mean, no, it, no, oh. it be, no, it's come international. On, come on, come on, come on, skate, 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 skate. I'm not stopping this recording until we find out who wins. This, <laughs> this might is... take a... Oh, this is actually going all over the Patreon, isn't it? Oh, shit, I didn't even fucking realize that. Too late now. <laughs> the Patreon, you should join them, my, my guy. The Patreon, just to see this. Yeah, pretty much. Well, can we edit this and just show like Slack's intensity during <laughs> during a hockey game? Probably <laughs> on aired footage. <laughs> yeah, I'm biting my fingernails down on the fucking ground, like just oh, I'm so. The reaction if they lose is gonna be better if they than the the reaction if they win. <laughs> How many minutes are left? There's only five minutes left in overtime, but they keep going until someone scores. It's golden goal, know, right? I don't know if I can wait that long. Yeah, you can. Can go Oh, fuck! Okay. <laughs> Let's take your mind over. Alright, so Slack, like, tell us more about this chick, because now I'm, I'm interested. I can't, I can't right now. Alright, cool. Dude, uh, I'll, okay. Um, <laughs> it, might, it might make me chill out a bit more. Bam! 
fam doesn't. <laughs> I literally just call it ref fam because I'm so fucking pissed off. Wow, they they know our slang. Um, um it's that they get it. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm so fascinated by this. Where did that hook go? There you go. Okay, it's over there. Um, no, she's just yeah, she's just a friend. I see her like once or twice. Tw- I see her once a week, guaranteed. Twice if I'm lucky. Just because like her what, schedule what's is What's her cup weird. size? I, well, I'm gonna. I'm just. Well, fuck off. <laughs> it means B. I don't know what the fuck her cup is. <laughs> Text her right now and ask her. <laughs> hey, these guys on the podcast want to know what your cup size is? It's hey, totally cool. We're all right. Friend, They're Americans. <laughs> hey, these American guys want to know what your cup size is. Phrase it like that. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's just like... Because someone's like, Are oh, so it's just magic. Slack? I'm like, it's not even that. Do you guys like... So, like, it's, you guys are just hanging out then? Like, there's nothing, like... We're literally, we're literally just hanging out as if, like, it's whatever. So, but, like, no platonic? She knows, it, she knows that I want to, like, bring it somewhere else. Like, you know, like, start into a relationship. But, like, she's just not in a spot where she can, like, commit because of the fact that she's working out all of her own issues. That's cool. Well, at least she's conscious about it. Oh, yeah. Is, like, she's willing to work some shit out. Like, she's like, oh, you should just, like, let it go organically. Like, you shouldn't have just, like, told her. I'm like, why not? Like, that way, like, when she's finally, like, able to do it, the idea is already there. There like, you she go, Slack. Like, she Lay that shit to, down on the table. Like, she doesn't need to get there on her own. Like, I've already made sure that she knows that, like, it's the, it's the, it's an option. That's right, Slack. Take away all of her all of her ability to choose. Hey, what did I say about <laughs> slack therapy? <laughs> I right? Oh, flipping God, these guys are... This team is killing me. Oh, yeah, because we went from slack therapy to... Because you said you didn't want to do slack therapy. You wanted to go into wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Because I knew, I knew someone from wrestling Twitter was going to ask me about her. I just didn't expect it was going to be on the fucking show. Oh, you know, it, it just happened to be circumstance because um, during some downtime at work, which I had very minimal of today, I was just scrolling through the uh, the podcast Instagram, and I saw the picture. Of you. You're like, who the fuck is this chick? Yeah. <laughs> and, so, and so it was on my mind. And also the caption, thank you for being you. It's totally putting it out there, Slack. Like, well, the thing is that she, would never, she, doesn't, she won't see it because she's not on Instagram or anything. That's perfectly fine, whatever. Oh, that's the whole reason I did it. Gotcha. But hey, shoot your shot, dude. You never know what could happen. Trust me. Well, I'm not really in a spot right now where either of us can I can shoot the shot without being like disrespectful and her being like, I've told you like I'm not ready for something. So Slack, that... you're not gonna believe me when I say this, but trust me it works. Yeah. Fuck her, fuck her best friend. No, don't no, don't, don't, don't listen to that. Don't listen to that at all. Don't do that. I do, don't take Will's advice on that one. I can't take Will's advice on women, trust me. No, no, trust me, that one actually works. No, it's because the, you got lucky and she didn't find out. No, she knows. Wait, she knows about Dobby? In her heart. Dobby? You fucked the house off? It's a long story. Yeah, very. <laughs> very. But she doesn't know in her heart. You're still recording this, aren't you? Ricky, Dobby's Dobby's by now. You you told me this like three times. Yeah, she's by. I still can't believe it. A lot of a lot of a lot of fun females are bisexual. No, no. I I I texted Maddie. Like, what's up with Dobby? She's gay now. She's like, nah. She's bi. I'm like, oh, word. She's like, yeah. (laughs) Sweating out of areas I didn't even know I had. What? I said I'm sweating out of areas I don't didn't even know I had because I'm so nervous. This. Jesus slack. If it I wasn't mean, game seven, I wouldn't care, but this is game seven. We either lose or we go on. That's how game sevens work. Yeah, it's win or go home. Uh, because the Leafs lost yesterday, but like they got smoked in regulation. That's why Nikki's been in such a mood. Nikki's but always in a mood, okay? Too. Well, yeah, when you're 30 something, that just tends to happen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't talk about 30 somethings like that, slack. I feel like I'm the only one on the wrestling Twitter that's not in their 30s. I'm not in my 30s. Yeah, you're not in your 30s. I mean, Dave's not in his 30s yet. Dave's not in his 30s? Might as well be. 
Dave's turning 30 in like June something. Dave Dave's 30 going on 40 real quick. How are things going with him anyway? Well, I don't know. We haven't heard from him. Really? To be completely honest, yeah, we haven't really heard from him. I mean, I haven't necessarily reached out. I mean, I feel, in my opinion, I feel like this is a time that he needs to take to himself. And really figure some stuff out. It's not... It just so happens to come off. Fuck that, no. <laughs> I just... Okay. If, it's fine. I, I, I feel... I feel that he really that this is a time that he really needs to kind of think about some stuff, and you can't do that with with other people chirping in your ear. Come off from getting hit in the chest. He fucking like whipped his helmet off. That's bullshit. Just to stop the play. What are these other two fucking podcasts I'm missing? (laughs) So that's the thing. I mean, Dave wishes a happy Easter, which is really nice of him. Um, Which is weird. Like Dave doesn't text him back. Funny. What's up? We're not texting back. By the way. Oh yeah, um, I don't know what I was doing. Rude. Are you not supposed to text him back? No, no, I I didn't make that rule. I just it's a group. T- I'm not fond of texting people in group chats. Oh, uh, because everyone sees it. Not even that. I don't care about that. I just like, yeah. He was saying Happy Easter. I'm like, well, whatever. I found an A. Cool. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, we'll we'll. I mean. Hopefully Dave takes his time and realizes, you know, that he that he has some stuff that he needs to fix. But only time will tell. Yeah, Slack, did your uh, thing export? I haven't checked yet. I've been watching the game. <laughs> Look at just this wait kid. Till overtime, just wait till this, this period's kid, over. And this I'll, kid and is I'll glued. Check. Look at him. He is glued on the game. Dude, that's oh, all yeah. they have in Canada. It's that or the Blue Jays. No, they also have lacrosse. Oh, fuck, no, sport. please, no. Ah, oh, you fucking bitch, you fucking fan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Man. Well, do you have to know? This is all going on the Patreon. Oh, Jesus Christ. I need to relax. No, it's perfectly fine. This is going to, this is going to get you on the Patreon even more. Just join us, Slack. It's all, yeah. it's fine. Especially with that it's screen. Not, it's not just this or the Blue Jays, by the way, because I don't, I don't like baseball. And there's also, I watch soccer like crazy. I watch soccer oh. more than I watch hockey. How's Toronto FC doing? They're doing okay. They're like... Five and two and zero oh and some or something. It's one of my. It's actually one of uh, my desire. Even though I'm not a huge oh, fan of this. Aho fucking fan on its. Oh fucking Orphic got a stick on it. That's why I bobbled. It's. I'm not a huge fan of the sport, but I do want to go to a NYC FC game, like an MLS game. I wanted to see NYFC play TFC because my favorite soccer player ever was on NYFC when he was retiring, and I never got to. Oh, Fernando Villa? No, Andrea Pirlo. And you're thinking uh, of David Villa. My fault, yes. David Villa. They had Frank oh. Todd, Andrea Pirlo, and David Villa all on the same team. That that was fucking ridiculous, and they still didn't make the playoffs and win. Yeah, yeah it, it happened. I mean, I, I've heard NYCFC games are crazy. It's also at Yankee Stadium, and, like, I love going to no, Yankee I, Stadium. I the new Yankee Stadium from what I've seen. You would? I don't like the design of the new Yankee Stadium. Like I've seen pictures of like the old one and the new one, and the new one's fucking garbage compared to the old one. Like yeah, it's like more state of the art and it's like you know it's better shape, but its layout is weird. Well, do you have to? You can't look at the new Yankee Stadium without seeing the 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 past two because there were two before that. So they took the designs of the old of both the old stadiums and pretty much made them into one. Oh, I see. That's why it looks kind of funky. The outside is like the original stadium. Right. And then the inside, the actual dimensions of a stadium, is like the the stadium that preceded that one, that came before that one. Um, have you ever been to... You've never been to Yankee Stadium, have you? Me? No. I've only ever been to Buffalo just to catch a flight to go to Florida. Yeah, Buffalo doesn't fucking count. Fuck Buffalo. <laughs> um, no, I'm just saying, like, I've never been anywhere yeah. else in the States other than Orlando. Fair, fair. I mean, Orlando's not that bad either. Um got disney world and all the other shits so. yeah it's just and just crazy floridians um but yankee stadium is like is like a giant shopping mall but just so, that just so happens to have a baseball field in the middle that's weird yeah it's very weird but but it's awesome because the food at yankee stadium is flipping amazing probably expensive too worth it probably <laughs> they, worth it they have a, what's the name of the prime rib place? Oh, LaBelle's. 
they have little bells. They have literally slabs of just prime rib meat that you just see a guy in a window just slicing endlessly. And they give you fresh, wow. like, prime rib steak sandwiches. Wow. Dude, it makes vegetarians go, I might gotta eat that. <laughs> I, I might I might need to put that shit in my face. Yeah, there's Monument Park and um, there's I think they sell sangria up on up on top of center field. Nicky Sims Sa- an experience. We need to figure out another game probably in like July. Well, Sebastian yeah. Ajo, motherfucker. I also like watching the Yankees. I also watch the Yankees. Ah, I like watching the Yankees play a home game in Los Angeles. <laughs> no, no yours. No, they're playing the Angels, and like, there's more Yankee fans than Angels fans in the in the crowd. How many times are they gonna ice this fucking puck? They're still they're still doing icing in hockey. I thought they pretty much eliminated that. No, they eliminated touch icing. Wow, oh, that's so bullshit. it's no touch icing, so nobody can be drilled into the boards from behind. It's for safety, and honestly, I'm okay with it. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's just weird how touchy icing can be because sometimes they count it and sometimes they don't. It has all to do with like deflections and shit. I don't think they should eliminate icing in general, but whatever. No, they can't. You can't get rid of icing. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know much. I don't right, know enough well, about hockey. Don't they do shootout or it's just really till no, someone scores? No, in, in, in playoffs, they just do it till somebody scores. Thank God. Okay, I think the file exported. Uh, All right, we transfer, punch my email, and I'll get the files. We transfer? Yeah, yeah we okay. transfer.com. You can transfer up to like two gigs for free. It's fucking great. By the way, my chicken came out phenomenal. And you mentioned that during the show. What's up? Uh, it's W. Oh, it's already here. There you go. Uh, I just, just send. Oh, wait, how do I do this? Oh, add your files. Okay, never mind. There you go. Uh, do I send? No. Oh, it's only 85 gigabytes. All right. Give it It's only yeah, 85. Files, files are small, especially MP3. Wave files are bigger. Okay, it's sending now. All right, cool. Oh, I'm so stressed out. <laughs> You're like Mr. Fretz when he found out it was a work. Oh my god, that was so funny. Really? You know, he he blew up on he blew up on us. Like was he like really mad? Yeah, no, he was he was legitimately pissed. We were like, whoa. <laughs> he got mad at me because of like because I uh, I did like a contrast tweet where like. Nikki tweeted us something positive about the Leafs, and on my feed, like right underneath it, was something negative. Negative. <laughs> and Fred tweeted out. So I was like, "Yo, perfect contrast of Leaf fans right here." And there was like a little debate, and like right at the end, Fretz is like, "Don't you ever uh, screenshot my tweets again?" And I was like, <laughs> "Fuck, like Jesus, Fretz, like Just relax." Apologizing to do slack, he's, sir. He's very irritable. From time to time, um, send I, the file to Will. I, by the way, I, I want, here. what's up? I send the file to Will. Okay, I, I want you and Fred's to meet one day, and I want to be there when it happens. <laughs> if he's going to SummerSlam, I'll probably just meet him there. I don't know if Fred's is going to SummerSlam. I, don't I think, think anybody is honestly going to SummerSlam. I think he like, aren't the guys getting an access. I keep like looking for that, and there's like news stories about how it's happening. Like it, they're like, "Oh, the Metro Convention Center is gonna be, uh, be giving access to WWE fans and stuff." But I don't even understand how access works. Like, I'll explain it to you because I've been to a bunch of access. Cause, like, I assume it's like you buy one ticket like to get in, and then you buy separate tickets for like certain superstars, and the other ones you just get in line for. Yeah, pretty much. And there's it's different. Like- it's, an, it's like a living museum almost. So I assume it's like it's like for someone like Becky and Roman, you'd have to pay. But then like for like someone like the mid carters, like Noe Jose and like the Lucha House Party, you don't have to pay. Yeah, you, you know all. Your, did you see all of my photos that I put on Twitter? I assume you didn't pay for majority of those. 
pretty much, except for the WrestleCon ones I paid separately for. Like Trish and Lita, Lita and Gail Kim and all of them. We're all we're all WrestleCon, but the WW the ones with the WWE backgrounds, I paid one general admission ticket. And how much is that? Uh for us, it was like fifty five, sixty. That's not bad. Apparently, it's like it's like they open up a where like it's like they're opening up like their warehouse or something essentially. Yeah, no, it's 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 pretty cool. So they did access a little differently this year than what they've done in the past. Because in the past, every superstar who was like a general admission signee had their own autograph booth and like table and stuff. Yeah. So this year they kind of switched it up. So there's um there there were lines where you can do just pro photos only. Hmm. So it was three. You would get three superstars at a time for pro photos. They take the shot for you. They give you a receipt, and you can download the photo whenever you wanted to. Yeah, I saw because I saw certain people they like, had pictures with like the like the likes of like the riot squad and stuff, and it was just in front of a table. But then yeah. I saw others that had professional photos with the riot squad. Yeah, it depends so on like, where they put them. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, so I assume like maybe like one day is like autographs and pictures, and the other one is like professional. So if they, they they I think they split up evenly. So they have because there's multiples of these. I think there's like three or four of each. So there's like there's ones where it's just pro photos, and there's other ones where it's autograph and photo. I'll I did I did mostly the pro photo ones because the autograph and photo lines took forever. The pro yeah, photo lines are just like you're you're in and you're out. Yeah, that's probably because. Because they do, like, a uh, fan expo here in Toronto. I've heard of that. And I went to that last year, and that's how I met AJ Styles. Really? You did so, just a pro photo? Uh, no, I, you had to buy, like, one general admission ticket. It was, like, 25 bucks to get into the actual expo. Yeah. And then AJ Styles' fan package was a professional photo with, with AJ, um, an 8x11 signed digital photo like the taken by WWE and then like one personal item signed by him. How much is that? I think it cost me like a hundred bucks. It's not bad. I was gonna get him to sign the the pop figurine box that I had of his little pop figurine, but I forgot the box at home. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And I got there and I was like, oh, oh fuck. <laughs> How was AJ in person? Chill, honestly, super chill. It was weird being taller than him, though, because, like, a lot of people don't realize, like... He's tiny. Of what... No, not, ju- not just that. I'm really tall. What are you, like, 6'1"? I'm 6'2 and a half. Really? Yeah, and no one fucking gets it until they meet me in person. Like, if you look at my picture on Twitter with AJ, I'm fucking towering over AJ. Huh. Like, w- when, like, when I was... Because Savannah's five f- is, like, five feet tall. Wow. Okay. So like that's just like a, a a fucking like like hugging is weird with her because like I I give myself like arthritis <laughs> and stuff just to hug her. <laughs> Got to do a DDP yoga slack. Oh god. <laughs> I've actually thought about getting into DDP yoga. Just I don't like going, I don't like going to the gym. I don't like going to the gym, and I've heard yoga is a good way to lose weight. So it's also a good way to remain flexible too. Like it's good for you. Yeah, and, and it's weird that Diamond Dallas Page of all people is doing fucking yoga. Yeah, he. Pre- I mean, it saved Jake the Snake. That's true. <laughs> so, and that's and that was a hard person to to get out of. Yeah, you know. So, but if you guys do do access, access will be you'll enjoy it. I I always enjoy access. It's just a cool time. You meet a lot of people. Um, like I got, I got to meet Shinsuke Nakamura for a general admission ticket. Like that's amazing. Yeah, apparently he's like a dick though. He's cool. He was fine. Uh, I thought he was a dick, but I'm like, I'm like, it's probably because like, because he he met him at an HMV at like it was like you buy like a WWE product at HMV and you get to meet Shinsuke Nakamura, and it was at NXT Takeover like Toronto. Yeah. So he was still really fresh to the company and like the international spotlight. Yeah. So I'm like, you're the guy that benefited the doubt. Like, he was probably just fucking freaked out that all these <laughs> random white people in Toronto know who he is. Yeah, it, it, he's, he was pretty chill when I met him. Re- meeting Ricky Steamboat was unbelievable. His hands anybody, were so soft. His hands were really a, soft. Is anybody a dick, though? Our truth was a little kind of, hey, let's get this over with. Really? Of all people? Well, it was fine. Uh, the, Lucha, the Lucha house party was really cool. They didn't give a fuck. 
Um, Ligero was really was really nice. Uh, Zelina Vega, awesome. Didn't smile in my picture. <laughs> she smiled in mine. <laughs> smiled in mine. <laughs> Keith Lee, amazing. But yeah, that picture was fucking incredible. Exactly like Keith Lee, though. It's crazy how That's much you look Keith Lee. So what happened was uh, Phil from Who Got Next uh, podcast was like, if you ever meet Keith Lee, you got to do the Spider-Man pose. And so I said, Keith Lee, do you know the Spider-Man pose? He was like, I was like, well, we point at each other. I was like, yeah, I'll do it. So that's how the, that's how the picture came to be. Oh, I haven't seen that, actually. It's, uh, it's, it's up there it's somewhere. It's on Instagram? Yeah, it's on my Instagram. I'll go check that out later. It's on, um, it's on um, the podcast Instagram, too. It's Wednesday it's- Night Dynamite. <laughs> Someone yeah. had uh, someone said on like her Instagram that she had a real issue with meeting Becky Lynch. What really? You know Steph S O B on it on Instagram. That nah, doesn't ring a bell. They had this Australian chick that like loves like Liv Morgan and like um, Seth and all that. She's hot and she's got like a good Instagram, but she they were like, "Is you've ever had any problems meeting people?" And they're like, "Yeah, I had a bad experience with Becky Lynch." And I was like, "Wow, of all people." I feel like, like she's the most personable of all the four horsemen. Yeah, like, like Sasha Banks would be one thing, because I've heard Sasha can be a real fucking bitch. It's all rumors, though. That we didn't bring up the Sasha thing on the podcast. We brought it up last week. That's why. Uh, it's I weird would, what's going on there. It's very weird. I mean, I I I I posed my pro Sasha argument to to the masses, and uh, this whole thing with Dean, I don't buy it at all. Well, I saw something from an infamous Slice Wrestling. Say- <laughs> no, Slice is a dick. He blocked, as- me on in- he blocked me on Twitter two years ago. About, oh, I was going to say, like, if it was this past weekend, it was a hack. But, um... But I see a-, a bunch of fake Slice accounts that are just making fun of the real Slice for being, like, like the most unreliable source there is. I don't know. All the slice that I that I have the podcast follow has been a pretty on point source more often than not. And what was his thing about Dean that they that Roman and Arn Anderson convinced him to stay or something? I heard Roman and Bruce Pritchard and that he's going to return in Survivor yeah. Series. Yeah, it's, I read that too. I haven't bought the whole Dean's leaving thing since they started because like no, they never talk about people leaving the company. Ever. Yeah, never. Yeah, they bury them. Like, Sasha's is actually leaving. They haven't brought it up once, right? But then oh. now it's like, but randomly now they're bringing up the fact that fucking Dean Ambrose is leaving. Like, yeah, I get that he's been an intricate part of like you know the Shield and you know all that stuff. But that's still behind the scenes stuff they never bring up. Like when Punk left, they didn't even mention him. True. Um, oh, we didn't talk know. about we didn't talk about the Punk. Is the punk potential return? That I don't yeah. know. What that is I think that that's just I think that's just to get like your company noticed. Personally, I don't think that's anything to to actually. I don't get. know. Oh yeah, because it's not like anybody can do a fireman's carry into a knee strike. Oh wait, I don't except- know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like it's it looked kind Riddle. of similar. I want to see Matt Riddle use his GTS. But oh. it's, it's like the bro TS or some shit, and it's like <laughs> someone does a reverse uh, GTS where they do an Argentinian backbreaker and then they do a knee to the back of the head, and I don't know who Oof. it is. I think it might have been Matt Riddle on the Indies, honestly. Might have been Riddle's ridiculous. He's really old. my buddy hates him. He thinks he's like the, like the most boring character ever. Really? Right, guys, I'm gonna get some sleep. Yeah. For your for your job tomorrow, I'm I'm gonna wake up at five o'clock and Uber. <laughs> oh, that's right. You got to Uber because you got to make money. Hey! I sent I you the file. Well, peace, bitches. Well, I sent you the I sent you 